In this challenge run, we'll be trying to max our army size, reach 1,000 population in any town, own the whole map with towns in all regions, and earn 1 million gold without using any exploit. And to top it all off, the difficulty is turned up to the max. Let's jump right into it. First thing we should do is zoom out and orient ourselves. And as you can see, we have a massive amount of bandits. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know I turned it all the way up, but I guess it's a little more intimidating when you get in here and actually see it. So our primary resource here is going to be iron. I don't see another rich resource, which means it's probably the soil, which would be interesting. Wow, I've never seen that before. So we have an infinite resource of iron and we could sell a bunch of the farming stuff. So flax, we can do all that. Barley, this is pretty wild actually. And we're not too far from the berries or the hunt. That's not bad. The clay is far, but that's temporary. Same thing with the stone. So this is not a bad starting location. It's not the best, but it's also not bad at all. I don't mind it. So let's go ahead and plop some stuff down. We're going to use the main road this time. We're not usually near the main road. Not at least not when I play. I feel like I usually get stuck in the middle of nowhere. So first thing, let's get all our stuff off the ground. We're getting raided after one year. Like I mentioned, I turned up all the settings. Everything's the hardest it can be except for the residential requirements because that one's just plain annoying, which I don't mind doing it. But the whole point of this challenge as I mentioned, is we got to take all of these territories and we have to build large cities in each one. So I want to see how big we can get. Probably going to max out one city, like maybe this one is going to be the biggest because it has the most land mass. So we'll try and set that up. But each one's going to have to have a big city, maybe two, three hundred people each. And then we'll do a massive one down here with, I don't know, a couple thousand people, I would imagine. Maybe more, who knows? We'll see what we can get. But like everything, we got to take it one bite at a time. Let's get everything off the ground, our food, let's get our tools and stuff. They're probably going to get jacked anyways. These bandits are going to steal everything, I would imagine. Because there's five of them, so we're going to get raided, like, constantly. Right, that's all off the ground. Let's start with our wood production. So we'll put them right over here. And then we do have some hunt, so we can build one right here. But let's put it a little further in. Right, we want to start with the hunt because we're going to need some of the hides. We'll sell that off as leather. I've got a specific build in mind, but I don't know how well it's going to work. So it's kind of experimental at this point. All right, I'm also going to move the hitching post. Yeah, we need to move it over here because that's where it's going to be used anyways. We need a bunch of people in the logging camp. Get as much wood as we can as fast as we can because we need the timber. And then the berries. We'll connect the berries. And then we'll just spend a few days collecting wood. All right, so we got timber. Let's back this off. We still want to have somebody in there collecting, but we have enough to build our five starting houses. And where are we going to put these things, actually? I don't know that it makes sense to put it anywhere but in this middle area. We'll probably end up moving this. Yeah, I don't really care if that's there for now. Yeah, this is fine. Why don't we just build it right here? Let's make sure we got a workshop in each one. We only need five, though, not six. So let's make it a little bit smaller. So we want to take up as little room as possible and still get our house and workshop. So there's five. Perfect. All right, Forger Hut, we can put some people in there. I'm actually going to put two just because we need to stock up on some food. We're going to blow through our food pretty quickly. Yeah, we're not going to be able to rely on the hunt. And also what I'll usually try and do is get a bunch of chicken farms up at these early so we can have food production and not have to worry about it. But in this case, we're going to go straight goat sheds for the hides and then the hides go to leather and then we'll sell that. We're not going to be able to do a whole lot until we get better deals. I don't normally recommend taking this one unless it's like your starting town because it's just not that important. You'll generally make infinite money. But in the early game, especially in this setting where we could get taken over by this guy anytime since he's set on aggressive and we have freaking five of these things to deal with. It's going to be pretty rough. So I'm thinking what we do is we need to get our starting guys up and running as fast as we can and then we'll probably pay for some mercenaries just to help figure out the rest and then we won't have to kill off all of our males oh yeah look at that the penalty is really bad on this wow so we don't want people leaving because that would be very bad <laughs> that would be game over for the run i've definitely done that before when i was first starting out and i didn't really know what i was doing everybody's pissed off and i had nothing left i just gg basically so this is helping homelessness should go down here as these go up now we're gonna have to put somebody in the granary so they can get oh shoot we can't because we need the builder i'm gonna pull back one of these guys one of these very workers actually let's pull both of them back and put them in the granary 
Because it's going to take a while. He's going to probably grab the meat first, and then eventually he'll make his way over to the forager side. The problem is you can't keep collecting if you don't have room. So we need somebody in the granary to pull that food out and store it here. That's what he's going to be doing. There we go. We got everything that we need. I generally don't recommend fighting right away, but in this case, I'm going to take the chance. We have 10 troops. They have... 16 usually, but we have better quality. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bait him onto our territory. If we can get the kills, that means we can hire a mercenary to do the rest for us. Oh, wow. They have only the big ones, the big expensive ones. Actually, that wouldn't be a problem because we... Yeah, here they come already. So I'm going to set these guys... Uh, You know what? Let them come, and then we're going to charge. There we go. This is going to be super important, man. I really hope we win this. We are going to lose people, and that's okay. Yeah, we got one kill. Come on, man. Hold in. Two, uh, we lost somebody, but we got another kill. Two kills. Three kills. There we go. All right, I think we're okay. Unless we just start landslide losing everybody. There we go. Another kill. Ah, man, we're losing people. Our gap is three. Before it was five when it started. Now it's four. Yeah, it's bad. We might lose this. No, they're getting them. There we go. We just got a bunch of kills back to back. Holy crap, that was close. All right, let's go take this. There's another raider's camp over here. But like I said, we can't really do anything with what we have. We have to, I guess now technically we could. We can go back and replenish because we have a few more spears and storage to replace the losses. So we probably could, but I don't want to use too many troops. There we go. So that's going to go right to our treasury. And we're going to use that money to hire. Oh, 200. Done deal. Yeah, let's hire one of these. Uh, we'll take the cheaper one because I feel like they both get the job done and I'd rather save the 10. Now, where do they come in at? Nice. There's one down here. We're going to have to go immediately take them out. One right here. We'll immediately take them out. And then the archers can come up here and take this one out. So that'll be four camps. We have one more after that. We'll take that out. And then we'll probably cut these mercenaries loose and try and get our own militia up and running before we have to hire anybody else. So we're going to immediately disband these guys, go back into the pool. Yeah, we've only got 14. We're going to need to get our economy up and running. But like I said, I feel like this was kind of necessary. Yeah, men took a beat in there, but they're coming back. All right, we need to babysit these guys just a little bit. Not so much to tell them who to fight, but we need to babysit so we can actually take the camp out. If they're going, they're going. Yeah, we should be fine. Probably don't need to pay attention to that. So let's see. How are we doing here? Is the granary full now? Yeah, they still haven't taken stuff out of that. All right, I'm going to actually pull the hunting camp for just a minute. Let's get our tannery going. I'm going to put the tannery right here because he's going to be getting a bunch of the stuff from these guys. The goats. They're all gone. Let's finish clearing that bandit camp out. Okay, these guys are going to... Yep, they're coming out. We'll probably put these guys on hold ground so they can get a volley or two off and then they'll fight them in melee. There we go. Again, that's going to go to our treasury so we can afford these guys. The rest we could probably actually go to... No, we need to do personal treasury, I feel like. It's going to be hard for us to get money because we're not building a manor house until we get maxed out militia. So we'll need a little source of income at least. It'll make sense later, but basically every unit that you have here that's not a mercenary counts towards your military cap. So if we have one retinue troop, we can have six total, right? We can have six total militia, retinue, whatever. So if we build all militia first, that means we have six militia and then we build the manor house. And for whatever reason, the retinue does not count against that cap if you're already maxed out. So for example, let's say if we have one retinue and five militia and we build another manor house, we can get another retinue. They just pop into existence. You don't hire them. And then like I said, same thing with the mercenaries. I'm pretty sure they just kind of pop up. Uh, yeah, they're fighting. Okay, cool. You're fighting. So yeah, what I want to do is six militia, then we'll build manor houses in every province. So we'll have six plus eight. Uh, what is that? 14. So we'll have 14 regiments plus whatever mercenaries will be available at the time. All right, these guys are going to get completely squashed. Oh no, don't sprint, don't sprint. Yeah, these guys are going to be exhausted by the time they get there and they'll get stumped. Archers, looks like they got a volley or two off. Yeah, they killed a lot of them. So that's done. These guys are done. Nice. We're going to have so much money. This is a really good start. Assuming we don't starve to death. Yeah, we need to deforest some stuff. I'm going to build right here because we need to clear all this stuff out so it doesn't go to waste. But we'll just put it right there. 
Alright, how's that granary looking? Still haven't taken anything. What? We need the cart. There's the cart. Okay, so when they come with the cart, you know that's going to be good business because they're going to take 10 at a time. So that'll go down to 31. Yep, 31. Beautiful. There's one cart per family. All right, so treasury and treasury. We're up to 654 gold. Pretty wild. Now we're going to have to pay for these guys again. Oh, wait, did we already pay for them? Or are we still in the first month? Mercenaries are in a monthly retainer. So 90 gold. Obviously, we're going to let these guys go as soon as we're done. But we don't want to let them go until we're done, so... Okay, yeah, they'll just make their way there on their own. Fine, there's not much we can do about it. Let's speed this up. I should probably take one of these into our region wealth instead of our treasury, because we do have quite a bit of gold. We're not going to need that much. It'll help quite a bit. I'm going to leave this as a bit more challenging. I'm going to not do that and then try and make our regional wealth anyways on our own. In case you're not sure, the treasury is used to hire mercenaries and retinue and all that stuff. We're not going to be doing retinue for a while, so really it's just going to be for mercenaries. And when we need to settle new provinces, we'll be spending money to do that. This wealth right here is what your town uses to trade with. So basically, if we need to import, which we're going to do, we're going to need to import a lot of our weapons and tools. Although maybe not, we could probably build it. It's just easier to import it, to be honest. We'll just sell stuff and then buy it. There we go. Smash these guys and then take their gold. We got 18 days, so we're still in very good shape. All right, tannery's done. Let's get somebody in there. Now, the granary's just about emptied out. I'm going to pull one person back and put one person in the granary again so we can build up that stock. Like I said, we want to get our food up to a nice, healthy amount. Right now, it says 16 months, but we're going to expand how many people are living here. So that's not going to be 16 months for long. Let's finish this battle. These guys are tired, so they're losing people. Yeah, they're exhausted. Another army, so they hired some people. It's going to be too late, though. That's the last bandit camp right here. So that was a waste of their money. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we got that up fast. Come on, man. All right, push forward. Finish these guys. There we go. Yeah, I was going to say, this is taking kind of a long time. So we got 12 days. We're fine. I just don't want to spend the money. Because we can't really use these guys yet anyways. We'll use them again when the raiders come, maybe. Maybe we'll try and do it with militia. We'll see. I don't want to jeopardize the whole run just to do some a cool battle, but we'll see. All right, let's go into the treasury. So we got 840. And like I said, we can fire these guys any day we want. I think what we'll do is we'll keep them just a little bit longer in case a bandit shows up. And on the last day, we'll fire them. And we'll send these guys spread out a little bit. So if a bandit camp shows up, we're going to be in one day's marching distance, hopefully. So what we need to do now is we need to set up a market. And I'm going to put it on this side. There we go. Small market, only three places. We'll probably build another one somewhere else nearby. And then what we need to do is get these guys up to Burgage Plot level two so that we can start, well, shoot. Let's just start building houses for people. We need to get more people in here. That's fine. We'll work on that. We need to build a church and a well. That'll give people what they want. So our number of supplies is moving up. We got, uh, yeah, our mercenaries are gonna charge us again in one day. So let's make sure. I think we just get rid of them now before I forget. I don't want to miss it on accident. All right, so they're gone. They're not going to charge us. We got 840 in the bank, and we still have access to mercenaries if we need them. Yeah, if somebody pops up, we can do either of these. These archers are pretty strong, and they only cost 45. So if we hired them right away, 45, we could hire them like for two years straight, basically. 900, well, not quite. Like a year and a half. But like I said, I think we just try and get our own supplies up as fast as we can. I think that's the play here. So what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get up to better deals as fast as we can. We're going to take trade logistics first and then better deals next, which we'll do once we can upgrade these guys. We can't upgrade them until we get another food source. We should have two though. We should have meat and berries. Yeah, they're installed. They have two sources. That, so that should be fine. They just need time to catch up. And then they will have clothing. We want to sell this stuff pretty quickly. Let's get somebody working on their camps again. There we go. We got room for people to move in. Now, next thing, we need to get some planks. So planks, I usually just toss it up right next to our logging camp, which we'll move eventually. We'll move this thing out of the way. But for now, we'll just leave it. These things have free relocation. Most all of the wood and food production do. So like this woodcutter has it. The tannery does not, but the hunting camp does. The berry, the forager hut does. We need to put somebody on this saw pit so we can get planks. We just need planks to build the church and then we'll have everybody happy enough. Yeah, 20 planks. We have the stone for it, so we're good. All right, how are we doing here? Is it build up yet? Not quite. 
six months. Yeah, we have 24 months of food. Like I said, as soon as these people move in, that'll get cut in half. I like to have at least a year reserve. All right, planks are almost there. As soon as this hits 20, we're going to back him off and have him turn into a builder instead. Yep, there it goes. So we'll back him off. Now, we don't want him to take up any space that we'll use for housing. This is all going to be housing right here eventually. So we'll put the church somewhere else, maybe a little further down the road. Yeah, like somewhere right there should be fine. I don't think we'll do housing. We want to do housing up to the church, and then we'll stop. That means we could also put the well. The water is pretty bad on this. We'll just put it right there. It's fine. Now, this guy's not going to have anything to hunt, so we're going to have to toggle him back and forth between the tanner and the hunting camp so he can convert all this stuff. Uh, we're getting people move in. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Let's put another person on the berry hut. Actually, no, it's seasonal right now. It's not even necessary. Let's get two people helping build things. Once you go into summer, these temporary deposits stop growing, the berries. So then whatever it is, so this one it was 64 to 64, you just draw that down to zero, and then you have to wait again until spring. So two more seasons. But it's okay. We're stacking up the food from it. It'll help quite a bit. Yeah, these guys all have their needs met. So as soon as we can get the church up and the water well, we'll be in good shape. Just needed to bring the stone here. There we go, the well's done. Yep, they've all got access. All right, the tanner is full. I'm gonna switch him back again. He said, if they don't have anything to do and it's early game, we gotta toggle. So he'll go back to hunting. Okay, we got another bandit camp. We could spend some money or we could try and do it with our militia. We have 12 now. What's the cheapest that we can hire? 45, so we can do the archers. Where do they come from, though? I can now... So from there... Mm, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough question, actually. Which one? I don't want to slow down the progress. Yeah, we're going to hire mercenaries. Let's do the Wayward Sons. So we don't need an expensive group. And they should be coming in from here. Right? And I'm going to have them sprint. The AI is going to send an army, too. They're going to hire mercenaries. We don't want to be behind. All right, church is done. Let's upgrade these two. Yep, that's all we need to get the other perk. Let's get started on this already. So we're going to build a trading post. It's going to go right here, right near our supplies. Okay, how are we doing here? Still no enemy AI attacking. That's interesting. I'm going to turn these guys sprinting off. Oh, yep, yeah, there they go. So they did hire somebody. I think we're a little bit closer. Actually, you know what? One of these guys, the lightly armored ones, have a ton of stamina. Let's have them sprint the whole way. The heavily armored or... Yeah, they're, they're struggling. They're huffing and puffing. Again, we just want to set them close by. That's fine. We should be able to handle this, no problem. You know, one thing we could do is we could claim another region, actually. This one has a lot of berries. That wouldn't be too bad because you can get a lot of money running without having to do any upgrades. You could just spam the berries and harvest that. My biggest concern here is what if the AI contests? But if they do, we have actually, we have a lot of money. So I'm not really that worried about it. We could spam some mercenaries. All right, more people moving in. This is good. Uh, you know what we should probably do is uh, we should start moving our logging camp back. And what I like to do, instead of moving it, I like to just build a new one. Yeah, so we'll just move it back there. And then we'll deconstruct this one when it's done so we can build housing there. This one's not really in the way yet, so we can leave that. Oh yeah, we're way ahead of these guys. So there's no worry about that. All right, Goldhof, our main settlement is upgraded. We can take better deals. So this is going to be really good for us. We can start selling a lot of things. And even more importantly, we can import stuff. And we're going to need that to do weapons because it's pretty hard to get all these weapons going. I don't really want to use the burgage plots for anything in the beginning other than goats. And you know what I'm also going to do here? Let's get another hitching post. We're going to need more animals. Right, they're coming out, so we can probably just hang out here for a second try and get some of our stamina back right, we'll turn on fire at will they should be doing a huge amount of damage now oh wow they only killed one bad volley oh okay yeah <laughs> they shredded them right there on that last one right when they were like contacting so they crumbled almost instantly we'll be able to collect that before they get there sweet we claimed a region they didn't contest now this one like i said has berries so i would probably like to start building around those these other things aren't that big of a deal we can yeah the wild animals whatever we can survive off the berries for quite a while now the question is do we get another town going right away or do we wait a little bit we barely even have this place set up 
Just barely. It's fine. What's a challenge run without challenging ourselves, right? So we're just going to go for the cheapest one, which is modest. We want to save as much money as we can for the mercenaries. We may be at the point where we don't need them anymore, actually. So same thing. Let's get everything off the ground. Now this place, trading post is not done yet. What is the hold up here, boys? All right, this, unfortunately, he's not taking the grays back. So we got to switch him to granary worker. Actually, we have enough people to do pulls. All right, I'm going to demolish that one, and then we'll build some housing there. And then we need a hitching post for the trading area as well. Yeah, that's going into the treasury for sure. 144. So we got some of our money back that we spent on the mercenaries and a little bit back for building the new town. Yeah, these guys still have some time before we can start working on that again. So the mercenaries, we have 11 days left. I'll try and keep an eye on it. As soon as they're about to get paid, we'll get rid of them. Uh, sounds like it's going to start raining. Come on. Right, food's all in. We need to get a berry picker. And we're just going to spam this. We're not going to really do a whole lot else. We'll grab wood from here. Yeah, perfect timing. we got everything off the ground now. So berry hut, we're going to put three people in there. Actually, let's do four. One in the logging camp. We still need to get a bunch of logs so we can build houses. But then what we'll do is we'll take one person off of the berry hut, put them in the granary as, as soon as that thing fills up. Yeah, we don't really need to micro this for a while. Let's go pay attention over here. Okay, the trading post is finally done here, which means we need to sell a bunch of leather. So we're going to trade. We need to pay for this one, though. It's going to cost us 25. We'll establish it. We'll export. And we're going to keep maybe just five. Yeah, we'll keep five in storage. Everything else goes. We do have a little bit of money left for regional wealth. We need to very quickly, as soon as we can, expand to goat sheds. Everybody gets a goat shed. And then we're going to use that to fund all of our military in the early stages anyways. Are we looking here? Yeah, as soon as this fills the pantry, we need to switch somebody over to the granary to pull it back out. We just want to get as much as we can. Well, we need to get it out before winter time because then it'll die off. Oh, crap. I paid for him again. Well, hopefully a bandit camp shows up in this next month because that means we would have hired him anyways. I knew that was going to happen. What an idiot. Why do I do that? These guys had be pretty cheap 30 but the thing is it's like you pay another 15 gold and you get actual archers which i feel like are 10 times better 30 is nice because it's cheap but i feel like spending the extra money might be worth it in this case have you got new people moving in here we probably need to expand our housing soon we're at 10 yeah 8 out of 10 so we got two more okay this one is done nice we made 42 gold so we made our first trade and that's enough to buy at least one goat shed so again, this is going to snowball pretty quickly. We can pull that guy because berries are done for the season. But we need somebody on the storehouse too because a lot of these supplies aren't getting pulled out. All right, how are we doing over here? Berry deposit is half empty. Yeah, we need to get everything out before winter time. All right, they're having issues pulling stuff out, so we need to put somebody on granary. You know, I have never done this before. I'm thinking we can do a worker camp. So you still get disapproval. But I guess it provides shelter in the winter, maybe? Because we're still not quite there on timber. I don't know why it's taking so long. Nice, we got money for another goat shed. So like I said, this should pick up the pace pretty quickly. Goat shed has put out a lot of hides. Turn that into leather. All right, really need to get these supplies out of the way so we can build another batch of five. Like I said, I don't like doing one by one because... Oh, actually, I could get it to match. Well, can I? No, I can't get it to match, so it's going to be off. Oh man, the voice lines in this thing are great. I gotta remember to, to pull that for the review or something, because that was funny. Well, Here we go. That's out. We need to build more housing. We should be okay draining this. You know what we could do, actually? We have... Oh, we don't have enough, though. Shoot, we need more housing. October, November, and then it'll be December. That's fine. Let's pull one person off of the berries. Or we'll just get rid of the granary worker. Yeah, there's plenty. It's almost over that out. We need to get our housing up before we freeze to death. And then we'll also need to build a logging camp. Or the timber. Yeah, woodcutter's log for, for the firewood. We got more goat sheds going up. So anytime we get somebody selling something, we're just going to keep funneling it back in. And then at some point, we'll be able to hire our spearmen. Right, two more timber and we got it. One more and then we can build the housing. Yeah, this thing's pretty much toast. Yeah, we need to get some stone. It's going to be temporary, so I'm just going to build it here. We'll deconstruct it when we're done getting all the stone. But let's give them something to build when they're done with that. Oh, that's more money. 
Only 13. Yeah, why are we building oh, so slow? I bet you they stashed a bunch over here in the clothing stall. Yeah, 12. Most of it's over there. That sucks. We're supposed to have a minimum of five. But maybe once it hits the clothing stall, it, yeah, once it hits the stall, it doesn't even count. So actually what I'm going to do is, if that's the case, I'm just going to go to zero. Let's just sell everything. And then if he grabs it and puts it in the stall, that's fine. And if our people don't have clothes, eventually we can just back it off a little bit. All right, these guys need to go somewhere else because we're done. Yeah, we got a lot of timber now. Let's build our houses. I don't think it really matters how we do this place, actually. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Let's just do it along the main road. So five there. And then we also need the woodcutter's lodge. So let's do that. And I'm actually going to put him back here so you can clear this area out. And like I said, we'll move this stuff when it's time. I just don't like to build into stuff and then delete it. You know, all the trees is kind of like a wasted resource. Okay, how are we doing? Food is 19 months. Firewood is fine. We can always increase firewood anytime. Food, you can't always do it because usually you rely on the berries in the early game. Should be fine on food. 18 months. We just need to make more money. I'm not sure why it's taking so long to get money. There we go. Another 30. All right, let's clear this area out because I can't tell what's a tree and what's not. This is all the shrubs. That's fine. Yeah, we made more money, so we can upgrade Burgage Plot again. But like I said, we're just going to go all goats until we can't handle the hides. But I don't think we will get to that point for a very long time. Probably 20 or so. Oh crap, have I been paying for the mercenaries this whole time? How many times did I pay these guys? I totally forgot. Somebody's probably screaming at their screen. One, two... No, we're still in the second month. Okay, that's fine. We'll let it draw down a little bit longer. I have a feeling we're going to get a bandit camp pop up soon. But I'm going to watch it closely this time. Alright, stonecutter camp. We can put some people in there. We're going to need some of that. And then also... Saw pit. Shoot. Much. We don't even have a lot of planks. Alright, eight days before we can let these guys loose. Nice, we got another goat shed. Actually, what I'm going to do is upgrade this guy to a horse. He's going to work with the trader. And that should increase his speed. Yeah, it does cost you 30 gold to do it, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, we're good here. Fuel is going up four days before the mercenaries are cut loose. Three days. Two. Yeah, let's just cut him loose. I don't think anybody's coming. Thank you, boys. It's been a pleasure. Right, we do need to get some planks. This guy's not building because it looks like the ox is being reserved. Maybe a bit too much. He, he can't even get use out of them, fortunately. So we'll have to order another ox here when we upgrade this stable. Okay, it's Vio. Looks like this place does have five. Oh, almost. If I have to spend yeah, they're, they're pretty pissed about I'm being involved. homeless. Like Once this is done, we'll push the wood production back a little bit. All right, new mercenary companies available. Let's just check and see what it is. Yeah, these brigands for hires are still here. I like these sets of three, though. They're really strong units. That's why, oh, leveled up. So this place, it's got stone and berries. So the stone and berries aren't really good perks to take. Well, there's nothing for stone, but the berries, not really that useful. Because it's seasonal and you only get a, a little bit more by doing that. We'll probably end up doing some trade here, but maybe... I don't even know what we do here. Shoot, we can't do farming. Well, we can, but it's going to be not a good area for farming so we'll probably not do that so we're either going to take stuff here or here or i guess both charcoal burning is never a bad idea and then same thing with trade logistics and better deals doesn't really matter we just need to get some stuff going here first we need to get our church actually let's move this because we're going to need it back here anyways so let's just preemptively move it we'll move our logging camp back here the woodcutter camp back there we need to get stuff out of here first, though. It's got 21 supplies. So as soon as we move it, that goes on the floor. It's going to get trashed by the rain. I don't know what's going on here. I thought we would be making a lot more money than this. Is he taking it all? No, it's still only 15. Let's get the tanner off. See if somebody else will take the stall from him. Because it seems to be like he's only focused on bringing his stuff there instead of selling it. Okay, why don't we move this thing back? And then same thing here. Yeah, it's got some supplies in it, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. We'll get rid of the road. We'll make a more efficient one. And we should be good there. Now, this place also needs a saw pit. Let's get that up over there. That allows us to build the church. Yeah, because we could build more housing, but nobody's going to come because our approval is so low. So once we get the church up, this place would be in a, a lot better shape. It's fine. Like I said, I just wanted to get something established here so we can get started on it, but it should be fine.
In the previous episode, we won our first critical bandit fight. We destroyed all five bandit camps, claimed our first territory, and focused on food and growing our population. There we go. We just had a big trade. That's 81. I'm going to spend a little bit on... Oh, we got four days before we can do it. I was going to say, I want to upgrade. I guess we just spend on goats. We need 30 to be able to hire another ox. We need goats. This is the key to us being able to defend ourselves. We've got raid coming in 70 something days, so about two and a half months. But this place is in good shape. Approval's high. I'm trying to think what else we need to do. We just need to stack up the cash. That's the biggest thing. So the more houses we have, the more goats we can produce. The more goats we have, the more leather, the more leather, the more money. And then we will very soon transfer that into spears and shields. There you go. So we'll keep pushing that wood back. And like I said, we'll push backwards into this area. That'll be where we put up our market and, and our housing center. Nice. More people are moving in. We got enough to do another ox. I think we need it now, though. Yeah, we don't really need it. We do need planks. Yeah, let's just keep putting money into our goats. So that'll be 10. We'll get another 5 on this side. That'll be 15. All right, this storehouse is pretty much full. We need to upgrade it. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We get a couple months before winter's over. And then we can like some more berries. Our food sources are holding up now. Like I said, we just needed to stockpile some to, to last through the winter. I think we're going to have to use mercenaries to handle this raid. We're just not there yet. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We got more goats. There's two more. We got three more and then we'll have 15. I think we should probably slow down at some point soon. Yeah, we can't even... This guy's not even keeping up with the hides. Let's put a couple more people in the tannery. What we could do is build another set of housing. We're getting close to the limit. We got three more houses to go. Let's just do it because we're managing more than one region. So I'd rather just have it ready. So again, we're just going to build it right back there. And then soon we'll start expanding on this side. We got to move this out of the way. 21 days until the attack. Maybe when we got 10 days left, if we don't have... Well, there's no way we can get enough. We need to buy some equipment, but we just don't have the money to do it. We keep putting it into our into our economy, which is fine. We'll have to pay for some mercenaries. I'm thinking we could do the archers again. I, those were really good. And then we can still hire our spear militia. They can be the front line just to defend a little bit, keep them off the archers. I don't know how big the raid's going to be, but usually the first one's not too bad. It's like maybe one or two. So we'll probably be okay. Here we go. We got a church ready to go. Wait, not enough goods. What are we short? Oh, we don't have timber. Okay. Yeah, we've got somebody in there, but there he goes. I was going to say that if they can't reserve the ox, then they won't be able to actually work. Nice. More goats. Not quite enough to get the last three. We can get two, though. Oh, that's not what I meant. Shh. I misclicked. All right, nine days. We need to hire mercenaries. There's no way we can get it done. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We have plenty of money. These guys are only 45. And let's get them over here. How far are they coming from? Nine days to march. I really hope the raiders don't spawn in our backyard. That would be really bad, actually. I'm going to switch this to goats. It's going to bug me. I know it's a waste. We'll eventually get chicken coops, but it's going to bug me if we don't switch it now. So there's a bandit camp, and apparently the raid is coming. Oh, they're not here yet, so maybe we can go handle that real quick. So they hired the big mercenary group, the group of three. Yeah, we just need to keep our eyes peeled for when the raiders come, because if they... Yeah, actually, if they spawn right here, we're totally screwed right here. That would be very bad. Hopefully they spawn at the bottom part of the map. All right, raiders. Still be... Oh, they actually spawned back here. Okay, we need to get over there. The AI is going to go after it. Uh, you know what? It's fine. If they kill the raiders, we're going to lose a little bit of influence. Yeah, the problem is we can't really do anything anyways. They're right there. They're going to be right on top of it. Let's just take this. We'll get some influence and we'll get money out of it at least. I don't mind. Yeah, whatever. So he took them out. He took their influence. And again, we don't really have a way of getting money into our treasury right now. So we're going to take it personally. And I'm going to forget these guys. Let's just disband them for now. There's no other bandit camps up, so this should be fine. I'm trying to get this guy to run the shop. I want the shops to be ran from the people that are in the, the storehouse in the granary. Yeah, see, it's this guy. I don't want him to do it. So if I take him out, maybe he'll convert to being a shop owner. We're going to figure out where he's who's running that shop now and, and cancel him. Or is nobody running that shop now? Abandoned. Yeah, nobody wants to run it. Come on, dude. Maybe it's because there's no leather in there. Okay, there we go. Now you got leather in there. Please run the shop. I want him to take over the clothing stall. There he goes. He got it. Okay, perfect. 
so our shops are being run by the warehouse workers. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We can put everybody back. I'm getting the bug where I can't click on certain buildings. So all you do is just create a save file, load it up, and that clears it up pretty much instantly. Yeah, there we go. All right, very farmers. We need people on. We already have something in the granaries. So we should be able to pull that. All right, so yeah, we're going to max out our forger hut. We need one person to work. We're in really good shape, though. Okay, I think we can leave them alone for a little bit. This place needs a little attention. Yeah, berries are back. Did we? Oh, wow, we have a lot of planks. All right, we can probably cancel all of this. Yeah, we don't need anybody doing this stuff. Uh, we need to focus on other things at this point. Let's get our church built. Let's expand our citizenry here. Also going to build another hitching post, and we'll order another animal. Ooh, bandit camp. So they hired mercenaries again. We could hire a militia to do it. That would save us some money, and that's only 45 gold, though. So they come in at Goldhof. You know, we have plenty of money. We can replace our losses. This is fine. This town's kind of stagnant right now anyways, and we're a little behind them, so we need to hurry up and run. We'll use up a chunk of our stamina for it. Yeah, as long as we're far enough ahead, we can slow down. Let's use up half our stamina, and then we'll walk. We have a pretty good chunk of money coming in now, so I think now's the time we start expanding. So let's open up our trade. We need to open up spear and large shield. So we're going to import both of these, maybe 10 at a time, just so we don't kill our economy completely. Because that's 60, that's 70, so was that 130, 130 gold? Yeah, we can afford one shipment of 10 each. Yeah, we're way ahead of these guys. And we don't have to spend money on it. This is pretty good. Nice. So we got 10 spears, 10 shields. That'll replace with the, some of the stuff that we lost. Nice, we got the church built, so people will start moving in. That's perfect timing because we got the house being built too. Let's get the hitching post done ASAP so that we can order another box. Yeah, we'll spend the money. It's fine. We don't need to optimize the trade in this one. The first one you do, we're fighting them. Oh, they're getting destroyed this time. We're not going to lose anybody, maybe? Nice. We got the influence for that. Let's set 1200. We can do another area if we really wanted to. There we go. It goes right in our treasury. We're at 840 now. We can do another area of the map. Let's claim this one. We probably won't build one right away. I just like this area because it's like the center of the map. So if you get raided, you don't have to worry about them coming right on the edge of the map. It's a little bit safer. You know what? I will probably build something. This is a really good area. You got the hunt and the berries right next to each other. So we'll probably build here, build out this way with the residential. These guys need to be disbanded immediately so they can go back into the workforce. And then if you look at our troops, we can make 26 now because we got more equipment. So it'll continue to fill out. We'll have a full regiment very soon. Yeah, we got money for it, so we just need the traders. Yep, perfect. We got a full regiment. 36. That's really good. Now, the other thing we could probably do is get some armor for them. We can upgrade the helmets. We'll import that. Let's just do, again, 10 at a time. I don't want to completely destroy the economy here. I'm going to turn off the spears. I only want to get as much as we need so we can focus our money on the stuff that's more important. Yeah, these helmets are 6 each. Actually, let's go 20. 120, that's fine. Also, how are we looking on leather? Yeah, we're still looking okay. I think we can handle a few more. The woodcutter's Lodge is kind of underperforming, but that's expected because he's not really near all the wood. I'm going to move this thing back. We don't want to kick all the animals out of the area. Taking their woods, but I think it's fine. If anything, they'll just migrate further back into the woods. No big deal. This is going to be mostly housing anyways. There we go. We got cash. Don't think we need the helmets just yet, so let's finish off our goats. So this is 20 goats. We got a spare one we could use for eggs or something. But 20 goats. We might need to put another person on the tannery. We'll see. I have a feeling these guys are having a hard time gathering all the hides. No, they don't actually. Okay, anyways, that's fine. How are we looking here? We got all the houses up. We are not getting new people in just yet, but we should soon. Yeah, the storehouse needs to upgrade here. We have too many supplies. Now, same thing. I'm just going to build a very basic base here. There we go. Storehouse, granary. Let's get all that off. Can we deconstruct these things? Because that'd be kind of annoying. Oh, crap. It's raining. Come on. Right, well, they're working on that. Let's see what else we got going on. Still nobody's moving in here. I think we probably need to get the marketplaces up. So we're going to expand back this way. Actually, I guess we could do this way too, because as long as you don't build on top of the berries, it doesn't really matter if you build next to it. Yeah, we'll build three right there. That's fine. Okay, we got all the stuff off the floor. 
all the supplies we need to get a hunt very deposit what's the other one here oh this is the one that we can do farmland too but we're not going to do that there we go we got stuff to build here let's get everybody off that all right they can build there we go we're getting helmets means these guys will outfit themselves slowly so i'll have a little bit more armor on them you know we should probably start working on getting these things organized a little bit better so a logging camp yeah there's literally nothing down here i think we should probably just put it final resting place somewhere back here same thing logging camp can go there stable we can move whenever there we go now we got room for housing over here still we're not really in the way also going to actually build a couple forester huts so we'll get two forester huts also should probably move this woodcutter's lodge somewhere over here at some point as well he's still got some stuff to cut down though so maybe not maybe we'll just leave it what i like to do is we set up a logging camp, a woodcutter's lodge, and a soft pit all right next to each other. A stable with two ox and then three forester huts. And then what I can do is set up the forester huts to build trees all around this area and then they don't have to go far at all to get all the wood. So that's usually pretty efficient to do it that way because you can still micromanage the forester huts once the trees are built. Once that's built, we'll deconstruct this one. Right, so this place i think is in good shape for a while 19. we need to build more housing actually why don't we get that queued up They're pretty inefficient i'm just gonna build it on the other side i can't get it to work right now this thing's kind of blocking in the way i need to make it bigger but can't quite figure it out there we go two more houses that's fine that'll be plenty to expand to and then back here there's still nobody joining for some reason yeah we don't have a hunting hut here that's fine what we can do is do a goat shed and we'll do the same thing. We'll get a tannery work in here. There we go. We got 20 helmets. 34. We need two more. Oh, they all instantly got taken up. Beautiful. What does that mean for this? So this, I think, let's just drop this down to two more. We'll get these guys fully equipped. And then as we need stuff, we'll order it. But I don't want to blow all of our money on just that. I haven't been keeping an eye on this. How is our production? So hides and leather. Yeah, they're keeping up with it, actually. That's fine. And how are we doing here? We got a hunting camp. Got berries. We'll put a few extra people on the berries. Okay, two on berries, one on animals and a hunting and one on log cabin. We have plenty of time. We just need to get them a housing and when it comes to winter time. I think for now we're doing okay. Yeah, we'll just build up our log supply there. There we go. Finally, we're, our approval is above 50, so we should be getting some population growth here. Yeah, that's the only thing holding this place back. So once we get some more people there, we'll be in good shape. Okay, let me take a look at the animals. I'm not exactly sure what we have. We need to upgrade this. We need two horses, two ox. Yeah, we can definitely fit another ox here, so let's buy one. We got the money for it. Did we get all our helmets? Not yet. Oh, crap. Fire started. Ah, uh, man, I got it. So we have to rebuild the, the goat. Yeah, look at all the goats are dead. Oh, no, my goats. They burned to death. But at least we got meat out. No, I was going to say, at least we get a meal out of it. They get cooked goat. Sadly, I don't think you get meat. Oh no, it still has it. Nice. We don't actually have to do that. Now, I'm going to put somebody in the tannery here. And maybe they'll be able to supply people with clothes so they can be a little happier. Yeah, this having five people out of five is, is pretty brutal. Oh, Goldhoff? Oh no, that's this place. So this place is getting even more immigration, which is kind of crazy. They already have a lot. I'm going to get my Forester Huts running here. So the way I like to do it, like I said, I go to Advance. I put one person in each one. We do limited work area to this area here and make sure there's no overlap. This probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense because, yeah, I was going to say they can't even plant anything here. It's already full of, of trees, but we'll chop these down pretty quick and then they'll need to replace it. Yeah, this place is maxed out. We need to build more housing. We'll set it up in the back. Now, one thing we could do here at this point, we have enough hides, it looks like. We could start putting up the chicken coop so we can get a second food source. And I think we will start doing that. We got plenty of money for it. Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, nice. We got families moving in. That is very good. Oh, man, our granary is full. So we need to get some stone. Yeah, we don't have anywhere to put the food. This place has got a ton of stone. Okay, that's fine. How's this middle one doing? They have plenty of food. Yeah, we don't need to worry about food for quite a while. They have... Oh, wow, they have a lot of timber too. Maybe a bit too much. So we're going to need to worry about firewood. They should be off and running. 
Yeah, we can make clothing, food, they should be good with that. Firewood is going up. This place would be in good shape, and then we'll get them expanding as well. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have room for more food. Both of these are full. So the forger hut and the granary are full, and we can't upgrade the granary until we get stone, so we're going to spam stone here. The berries are done for the season. We are starting to get eggs in now, so let's also take that. We'll get more housing here, because this is pretty much full. 14, 23... Wait, how do we have... We have more houses than we have people. All right. The next thing we need to do is work on another regiment. I really like the spear militia because they have better armor. The footmen, they do more damage, but they don't have the same armor rating that, that the spearmen do. And then these guys have terrible armor as well, the pole arms. They do well against armored units, but I'd rather have archers. We can just have archers take care of everybody. So I think what we'll probably do is set up another... Ooh, you know what we could do is we could do an archer regiment. Why don't we do that? Let's do archers. So open up another trade. We'll do it for war bows, import, and then let's let's just go 10 at a no no no. Let's get at least half. So we'll go 15. Yeah, 15 at a time. Alright, they should be good then. It's not much we can do here. They just need time to build. Bye oh. Alright, we got stone. We can upgrade the granary. Let's do that. What I'm gonna do, let's delete this. I'm going to build a road on the back side, actually. And then we can build housing right here, right up to the church. And we don't have a whole lot else going on. Let's just expand some stuff. We can build the mine here. We can build the mine here. Just because we've got people doing nothing. Like, they're literally doing nothing right now. Yeah, look at all the trees that just popped up. So we'll have that pretty much permanently. Although, I built this a little too close to the housing. That's going to be kind of annoying. We'll have to do it down here then. It's fine. Actually, we can just deconstruct this, and then we'll put those workers over here. Uh, one thing we should probably look at doing soon is going down this route, getting charcoal burning, deep mining, and then we will probably need heavy plow. So this, yeah, this is going to be kind of a weird place because we needed to go down multiple trees. Usually, you, maybe one or two. This one, we're going to have to go down three. So we need deep mining. We also will need heavy plow. You get six at the max level. So if you get your town all the way up to the large town, you can have six perks. So we'll get trade logistics, better deal, charcoal burning, and deep mining. And then we'll probably come up here and get heavy plow and bakeries. I don't think we'll do any of these other ones. They're not really worth it, I don't think. Bakery seems okay. Twice the efficiency of the communal oven, so you can just spam bread. And we'll need it if we're going for a huge population. But we'll see. we got a lot of other stuff to worry about. So these are just about done being built. Slow it down, we gotta bend it. I'm actually gonna use the archers. We've got a decent amount of archers here. We should be able to clean them up pretty fast. Baldebrand. We made it. it. Says we can rebuild these. I wonder if we can rebuild them and then just take them down. Use the materials. We don't need another granary and a windmill. Uh, we need woodcutters too. Let's get that going. Yeah, fuel is the issue. That'll be solved when we get the woodcutter. Don't see any projects going on here. It's too late to be doing planting. So I think we'll probably, uh, the granary's being built actually. Yeah, let's wait for that stuff to be done and then we'll come back. Like berry season's up. Let's get these guys out of here. Let's get one in the granary so we can actually get it back to our base. We got two workers on wood so we can get that number back up. And then we'll let one person do the construction stuff. Look in here. Wow, we have a lot of berries. All right, we should probably sell some of that. Let's get a trading post set up, and we'll keep it near our storage. We have so many people that aren't doing anything here. We've got a good amount of money here. And why did it... Oh, because we don't have the people. Yeah, I was going to say, why did it say we don't have equipment? We definitely have the equipment. Spears and large shields. Yeah, we do have quite a bit. Right, time to upgrade a few things. Just make sure we have plenty of storage. Oh, it looks like we took all the stone, too, so we can deconstruct that. We have two more people coming back, I guess. We need a few tiles. Why don't we make this? I think we'll use that somewhat quickly. Right, well, let's let people build some stuff. Yeah, I want to get these things upgraded. I do want to get this town up to a higher level. Actually, we can do that right now. We don't need to wait on that. The mining pit has got pretty much limitless supply, so we don't need to drain that. I do want to drain all of this clay pit, so we can just be done with it. We're still building. Yeah, see, these guys are still building. Oh, can we just deconstruct it? Oh, we can, but then it doesn't give us anything. <laughs> I thought for some reason we would get something out of it. Oh well. 
guess that's what we get for being greedy. I don't want to build a farm right here anyways. We have a tremendous amount of hides, so why don't we start working on converting some of that. Yeah, not just that, but we need a trading post so we can start getting the cash out as well. Let's get the trading post close by. Okay, so they're good. Everybody's got orders for at least a month or so. Where is our bandit? There we go. Right, we killed a few before they got to us. This is actually not good. Yeah, I didn't want these guys to get caught. Some of them are still firing. They're shooting on the edge and they're getting some kills. Yeah, they killed one of our guys. All right, they fled. Looks like we lost two. That's acceptable. Now, a lot of these burgage plots, I want to put egg production. Here we go. So we can trade a little bit of our berries. I don't want to trade too much, though. Maybe we'll trade down to 500, just so we don't completely you know, get rid of our safety net. Once we get a little more, we'll probably switch this over. So that guy just keeps popping in and out. Yeah, they, they're disappearing in the woods. Uh, I think every town should be selling leather. I think that's going to be our staple. Yeah, this place is just making a killing right now. We're already at a thousand. And one thing we should probably start picking up. Why don't we go 30? Let's just do like a standard 36 of everything. That way, if we want to create a new unit of whatever it is we're trying to do, we have it ready to go. And I think we'll probably just keep it to one type of unit for now. Well, two types actually, because the archers, but yeah, let's just buy 36 of everything. And then when we start a new unit, they'll have everything they need and then they'll replace it ready for the next unit. And if we lose troops, they'll replace those. The trading post will buy some for us to get us back up to where we need to be. Right, this has chickens. This looks like it has chickens. Now we're gonna have to start working on clothing and ale, which we can handle both of those. There we go, we got our level. So I think the next one's charcoal. Let's do some charcoal burning. This is gonna be a, a pretty big profit center for us. Here. Okay, so I think we should probably keep the production stuff and the things that we're gonna sell over near the storehouse and just keep the storehouse fully staffed so they can pull everything in. And then we can pull whatever we're trying to sell from here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this area into charcoal. I have two charcoal burners right next to the storehouse. They can pull all the firewood they need. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be built. We just need to give them time, I guess. Now here we are selling berries. And it looks like our fuel and food are in really good shape. We don't need to worry about that. You know what? I think I forgot to adjust how much of our leather are we selling. We're still selling 100%. Let's not do that. Let's at least keep 10 or 20. We'll keep a little bit of a buffer. I wouldn't mind another hitching post either. We'll do another one over here because it is kind of a pain to get logs back and forth at this far of a distance if you've only got one or two ox. We had another two, that should make it a lot easier. Here we go. So we did actually make some sales. And I think this place will probably go the same route. We're going to go trade logistics and better deals just so that we can get some troops out of this place as well. I was going to try and play tall and just get everything out of one, but uh, that's fine. We'll do that for a separate challenge. We'll just expand, maybe do two, two and two. And then at the end, we'll just get a big old massive city we don't need that much stone now let's pull them off we need another big expansion for housing oh and then yeah we need to uh, let's go to the trade house and let's open up trade for leather let's just pay get that out of the way and anything left we can throw back in so export we're gonna leave that at zero for now and then we need more goat sheds there we go. so goats all the way How are we doing in the middle let's sell just a couple of the berries we'll go down to 75 Keep the cash everything else what else do we need here yeah again i think we're just gonna do the same thing we're gonna go trade logistics better deals we'll open up a trade route for leather holy cow we have a lot already let's put that to zero and just make a ton of cash here same thing we need to expand the housing nice we just bought a bunch of supplies so we've got yeah, we've got a lot of weapons we've got helmets and all that that blew through most of our cash but that's fine we can create more here like I said, this place is just going to have so much cash, we won't even know what to do with it. Actually, we have so many people, don't even know what to do with them. Let's put some people in the charcoal kiln. Oh, nice. We can get people in the clay mine. Let's try and drain the clay mine all the way. We'll get one person in the tannery after this gets built. Yeah, let's build that first. So housing's coming in nicely here. We got not a lot of cash. Oh, wow. This place just made a bunch of money. So, what? did we make money on yeah, we've got plenty of hides we don't need anything for purchase right now so let's just go goat shed 
And again, we'll turn this place into a, a gold mine, basically. So we'll do those five for now. Yeah, we just need people to come. Oh, boy. Homelessness. Yeah, they're probably upset that they don't have a market. Oh, we're getting raided. It doesn't even matter. They're popping up near our, where our army actually is. We will gladly take your experience or the uh, influence. Actually, let's run to the area. We're going to get a little bit tired, but I want to get there before. I don't want to fight this on our territory because then we're going to have to bury the bodies and stuff. So let's wait until they get closer to the archers. We're going to try and keep a flank. And then we're going to charge into them so that the archers still have a flank without them having to move. Yeah, they just got smashed. We didn't lose a single person. Right back to the workforce they go. And we just made a ton of cash. So how's our stockpile looking? Yeah, that looks perfect. 36 of everything. And actually, what we might want to do is we can actually do full trade, which means they will just try and maintain that 36 number. If we get a bunch of people turning these things back in, like let's say we change one unit of shields for a unit of archers, we'll have an influx of 36 shields. So then what they'll do is they'll sell those shields off so we don't use up. I, I'm not really worried about the money. I'm worried about the storage space. I don't want to be stockpiling all this crap. It can get out of hand pretty quick and it'll slow you down. So I just want to maintain that number. We're getting a lot of people moving in here. So we need to figure out a sustainable food source. Actually, no, food is good with the berries. Yeah, we need to get more money. That's what we need. But we've got nothing to sell. You know, we're not hunting. Let's do s just a little bit of hunting. I know it's going to be a long distance and it's kind of a waste. But we've got people with nothing to do. Let's get somebody hauling in some timber again. Here we go. Let's try and get all those berries out before winter comes. And then we'll figure out what to do with these people. Uh, we'll find a better job for them. So this place is making really good money. But the problem is the approval is low. But it won't be now. It's because we didn't have a market. But now that we got a market up, we'll be just fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll put the tannery back up. Yeah, they didn't have anybody before, so they should be good there. No more berries. Back to our main. Yeah, this place needs to keep expanding. All right, we're low on fuel. Uh, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because we have, like, oh, almost 300. Right, we have a few too many tanners. These people can all go for the winter. It's about to be winter time. We don't need people planting trees. I'm going to build just a temporary one. Let's build another charcoal kiln. And we'll take it down at some point. But we have a tremendous amount of firewood that needs to be converted over. So we'll fully stock that. And we'll get that charcoal converted over. The nice thing about the charcoal is we could sell it once we start getting the stockpile. Alright, berries are done here. I should probably find a more permanent solution for the woodcutters. I think this area is probably going to be good for other stuff. I'd rather keep the wood kind of on the periphery. Not in the middle of our base. So why don't we do this? Okay, so we'll move everything over here. We'll also build a couple new things. This hunting camp, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. They can just stay. Let's get rid of... Uh, we'll, we'll leave the roads, but we'll move it soon. Yeah, we can build quite a bit of housing in this area. And then we can get some industry going on in that other side. That should keep people busy here for a while. But this place is not getting new people. Why are they so upset? We don't have homelessness. Let's make sure we keep some leather on hand. So we'll build a little stockpile. There we go. We'll expand our goats. Yeah, we just need people to move in there. Otherwise, we won't be able to do much. And then this place, we're just converting firewood to charcoal. So that's running three with three people in each. This is good. Really do need to get more people living here. So let's see. What do we have? You know, another thing we could probably do is get ready for a veggie farm. Just get a decent sized one back here. That'll also give us a little bit of breathing room with the population. Here we go. We got a little bit more money now. You know what that means. Or goats. So I would like to actually start working on some crops. Well, not now here. This is not the place for crops. This place... Hmm. Man, this is going to be tough. There's no permanent industry here other than wood. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else we could do here other than just collecting a ton of wood. Obviously, we can do charcoal. That's a good one. So we're going to do goats and charcoal. But we're going to do that everywhere. Right, nobody has water that's why they don't want to upgrade so let's get some water oh nice let us put it right back here perfect it won't be in the way of anything so we'll get some water we'll upgrade that that'll allow us to take another point oh man i don't know if we need better deals yet let's just go charcoal burning we'll get a little more economy going and then 
by the time we have all the money stashed, we can just buy whatever we need. Apparently, this is a steep hill. Yeah, it is kind of. It's not too bad, but let's see where it gets too bad. I think right here, this is where it gets really steep. Yeah, we can't do it. Okay, so three more houses. That's fine. I'll give these guys something to do. And did I... No, I did not take all the stone because this place has too much stone. Other things we could do, we could expand our infrastructure. We can collect the clay and the iron. In the previous episode, the AI took out the raiders for us. We claimed our second territory, a fire took out our goat farm, and we focused on expansion and completing our infrastructure. Okay, back to Valdebrand. These places are missing a lot of things. Okay, what do we need for church? We need a saw pit over here. Our charcoal's looking pretty nice now. I don't know how much of this other stuff we're going to be making, but let's take in a few gambeson. Let's just do... I mean, this stuff is going to be not as widely used. So maybe we'll do like 10 or 15. Let's go 15. And then at some point when we upgrade a lot of our burgage plots, we'll probably need more. But I think for now that should be okay. Some of the other weapons. I don't know if we want to do anything other than just the large shield with a spear. And then archers. Those archers are just so strong. Yeah, I think what I'm going to try and do is just get three regiments from each of these two regions. And then we don't have to worry about this one. This one will just be for profit. So we need to boost up our population by quite a bit. We are making roof tiles now, so let's upgrade the church. We also need a bloomery. We have a little bit more money. Let's keep making the, the goats. There we go. Yep, we got more people moving in. Actually, no, is this place we're trying to get people to move in? Bald run. This place could probably start using a farm. So let's take a look at what we've got. Oh no, this isn't the farming place. Whoops, what am I talking about? Yeah, this place needs some production. But it's just berries and stone. Yeah, this is kind of a bust. This area sucks. Well, then I guess in that case, why don't we work on expanding? And we'll do charcoal burning. Let's get charcoal burning going. I'm going to put a third forester, just because I know how much wood we're going to end up going through here soon. Nice, we got a bandit camp. Oh, boy. We may not get to that before they do. Let's see. Right, they just hired the big mercenary group. Yeah, they're using up all of them, so we're not going to have any left. I don't think we're going to need them, though. We just needed them in the early phase before we had our militia up. Oh, these guys have a ton of stamina. All right, sweet. We'll just let them... Oh, there we go. Something exhausted. That was old Hoff. This is our main. So we can deconstruct this once we're done pulling the clay out. 151 charcoal. We could probably start selling the charcoal, actually. Why have we not been doing that? Yeah, I did not set that up yet. We'll trade down to 100. I'm not really too concerned about it. And we're just trickling. We're getting a little bit of money here and there. It's not a lot. We lost a few archers. Yeah, I was not paying attention. They got caught. So our personal treasury is almost to 1,000. We got 1,500 influence. We can probably take another piece of land. This place would be good for long-term profit. Why don't we take Ikenau? It's a shame that the mercenaries get bugged. Once the AI hires them out once, they disappear. You can't get them again. If we hire them and put them back in the pool by firing them, then available for them to take us as well. So you just have to keep like a permanent, basically just keep them permanently. You pay them constantly. Okay, it's Fial. We're going to put this on charcoal burning. We have a ton of people here. So two charcoal burners. We'll get this set up already. Oh, we can't because we don't. Yeah, we spent all our money. And we still need more population. I'd like to get at least these two guys fully funded. We go four more houses that should be eight more troops we're short five on each that'll be more than enough it is growing season so we can put somebody in the forester hut actually we don't need to we still have so many trees we'll do it when we start running low okay i think goldhoff is fine for quite a while actually let's just keep our focus over here and yeah, we've got a decent amount of money here we've got two ox we need to buy some horses and then what i'll probably do is build another ox the uh, hitching post. Let's do a second one here. We'll get four ox. That's what I need to do at all of these places. Because it's so slow to build. Oh, right, they finally got somebody new here. Finally, finally. And we're making a killing here. I can't believe how much money this place is making. Now, if I recall, we did not build a church here yet. I don't see it. We'll just put that there. And we claimed another region. I don't know if we're going to go right into settling it, though. My attention's struggling to keep up with three. I don't know if four is a good idea. 
Although it is a good time to do it. It's March, so it just started spring. What is this place? I mean, it has berries. Why don't we do this? We don't have to make it do anything too crazy. We could just get it started. Let it sit there for a while. At least it'll be stable. And maybe we can grow the population a little bit. Not really worry about the money so much. Go sign that. Now we did get a charcoal kiln. Bio. Let's get this thing fully staffed. For sure we need the forester hut. Is there anything else we're building? No, but we should. We should be building houses. There we go. That'll give him plenty to do. We got several houses to make. Forester hut. I don't think I set these up yet. So let's go one there, one there, and then one on this side. And then we'll just be flooded with trees by the end of the growing season. Actually, why don't we clean this up? I think most of this is junk. Yep, it is. Okay, they have marching orders. Yeah, we're gonna put up some vegetable gardens on these long ones. Okay, so we're good here too. We got quite a few things for them to build. We're still converting most of this firewood over to charcoal. This place is still been a church. Okay, so back to the new place. I think we're good for a while. All right, what we want to do is get a bunch of berries stashed. And we also need housing. So all the usual, let's get our logging camp done right there. We're going to need a woodcutter. We got hunting, berries. There we go. Once that's all done, we'll get them working and then we should be good for a while. Yeah, we need to stay here. Pay attention. All right, we just need to collect a little bit more timber. We're already getting a bunch of food. So we'll be good in food here. We just need to get them some housing. Oh, nice. Somebody else moved in. So this place is going to start taking off, especially once that church is down. That should make a big difference. All right, this place is getting out of hand. Look at that, 2600. That's pretty good. Actually, more importantly, how is our housing looking? Oh, we need 36 to have enough people for two. So we're going to actually need more... And I'd like to get more veggies. Let's get a couple vegetable gardens in this for the, the long skinny. There we go. So two more houses there. That should be enough. What did we have four people for? Let's put another on the berries. Here, we've got people on all these. What am I missing? Uh, we probably need one more on the tanner. Glory clay furnace. Actually, yeah, the clay is temporary. Let's put people in the clay furnace and just get it done. Once we convert all that clay, we don't have to worry about it. And it'll just sit as roof tiles, which we'll probably end up using anyways, because we want to get a lot of these things leveled up. All right, how are we looking here? We've got more people moving in, more stuff being converted to charcoal. Let's continue the trade here. So we can open up this trade route, keep the export level at 20. Here we go. How are we doing here? Still have a ton of berries. Oh, that's right, because it's, it's a rich animal deposit. So this place, we probably need to kick it into gear. Get all this shrubbery out of here. So they did a good job clearing the forest out. We won't be wasting any of that. Where do we put... We could move it. Let's just move it over here. It's kind of a cool looking spot for it. It'll be a little more spread out. All right, we need to upgrade that storehouse. We need to get all this stuff out of here, actually. That's one of the problems. Oh, we can upgrade the hitching post as well. Get ourselves another ox. And then this place... Oh, nice. We got timber. So we can back one of these guys off and let's start building some housing. Now, this is a pretty small area. Yeah, this this piece of land is not big at all we'll get some housing in here these people won't be homeless and we should have plenty of yeah we got a lot of firewood a lot of food so this place is fine we can just ignore it and maybe just expand the population slowly if we need to and then when we're ready to do some infrastructure we'll have the labor force this place we can pull foresters off since they pretty much did their job let's upgrade some of these burgage plots there we go. So we'll get another level here that'll allow us to do the deep mining if we really want. Or the better deals. Either one would be fine. We already built the infrastructure. So why don't we just get a little trickle in and then when we need it we'll have it. And we'll prepare the infrastructure for it. There you go. Pile and bloomery, we're good. Those two people will continue to produce there. We got housing still to expand to. And again, this place, I think the main goal here was we need to move our wood production over so we can actually use this for housing. And then we'll build our permanent wood area over here. Nice. Another family. It's, it's nice how how happy people get when the, when the church bell rings, I guess. There we go. That's done. Let's put a few more people in here so we can get everything out. It's raining. Oh, we don't need to. Yep, they got it already. So let's move it then. Yeah, if we do it right then and there, our materials would have gotten busted up. Now, this place can go right beside, probably build another stable right here. Let's get these, put them all right here so they can actually fit, I hope, maybe. Yeah, there they go. And then we'll just have them plant all back here, and then there'll be plenty of... Oh, what happened? 
This stuff's getting rained on and it's deteriorating. We have four people in the warehouse, so I guess they can't keep up with the demand. Now these, I do want to get vegetable garden planted back here. We'll get that done as soon as possible. Let's also build another one right here. So Icanal has all of their housing. Yeah, we're good there. Let's go ahead and build some planks so we can get our church going. And like I said, this place has got food, fuel. If we forget about it and not look at it for like a year, it'll still be just fine. Now what we'll probably also do is build a few extra housing units. I don't think anybody's going to straight in. I think they're going to probably wait until we get... But you never know. Let's just build one extra housing unit. All right, this guy's got a ton of work to do. He's by himself and he's got to build like six or seven things. So we'll leave him to his devices. There we go. We got a lot of people moving in. We're getting troops filled in here. So these are fully maxed. Yeah, 36 and 36. Now we just need to get these other two, or I guess... Yeah, I think we should probably pull it from three. Two, two, and two. Seems like a reasonable mix. But we are running low on fuel for some reason. It shouldn't be a problem though because we have a lot of firewood. All right, the spare house is working here. Let's get our saw pit so we can get that church going. But you know what? These don't have anything in the back. Let's make sure we have enough eggs. There we go. That's a pretty big expansion there. So we should be good on eggs. I mean, we already have a surplus, but that'll be even better. And then if we want to build like a real high end part of town, we could just build a special area near a trade post, transport everything in and, and then give them what they need for the Burgage plot three. So that should be fine. Fuel supposedly is low, but I don't, I don't really believe that. There we go. We got spy out up. Yeah, this one. All right. So we could do. Oh yeah, that's right. I think we were leaving it. Okay, yeah, we don't need anything there. Right, now we need a little more plank. Actually, we have it. So let's pause that. Let's build our church. Now we'll probably not build around here because we don't want to mess up the berries. So let's... Um, I don't feel bad about putting a church right there in the middle. Nice. Yeah, ball the brand. There we go. So we are getting some decent population growth here. We actually need to build more housing. Still have this thing in the way, though. That is a pain. 26 logs too. Wow, that's a lot. Well, I'm sure if we build in the area, it'll help. Yeah, it's going to be hard to build it right there without hitting the this little stack or whatever it is, the logs. So we can build some over here, maybe. But he's still hard at work building all that. Yeah, we've got a lot of buildings going on. Actually, how are we looking here? 15, yeah, we still have minimum supply limits. We're good on that. This place needs to step up. We already got 900 gold in there. We've got 22 freaking people. Should be much in much better shape than we are. What are we building? Still building clay furnace and bloomery. If we get our clay furnace running, actually, let's back off the kiln and get the clay furnace. If we get tiles, we can upgrade the church. I don't mind expanding the housing. Well, I was going to expand it this way, but this way would make even more sense. But we would run into the storehouse. Maybe that was a bit of an oversight on my part. All right, we can put it back here. This little triangle is kind of an odd shape. We can't really put much. Yeah, I really only want three, so we'll just leave it at that. If we need more, we can just take it down and make it a more efficient shape. So that should make people pretty happy then. Between that and the church, we should have some positive immigration. Yeah, the church has got to be next. There we go. More housing. This place should be fine. Here we are. So a lot of people are moving in now. We need to get going on some of this stuff. We'll just get a massive little forest going here. And then as people move in, we should be able to fill some of these spots. Just as a precaution, I'm going to start making some chicken coops here. It's crazy how long it takes to make the church. I think it probably makes sense to put the church right next to the storehouse, if that's where all the stuff is. Because people have to like take it one by one. I think that's why it takes 35 pieces of material. But we should have a lot better approval here now. Yeah, we'll start getting people to move in. But I think that's it for clay. Oh, wow, we have a lot of people in there, too. So we demolish that. We're going to get a lot of people back to work. Put some of them over there in the uh, the mining pit. And top off our trees here since we start to take a few more. I'm actually going to build another warehouse. But I'm not going to put it next to that one. I feel like that's kind of stepping on your toes a little bit. Why don't we put it right here? Well, you know, we can't really build much in this area anyways. We, maybe we'll get a couple houses or one or two more houses. Let's just put it right here. There we go. So warehouse. And we'll use that to help out with some of the wood production. I don't know what else is down here. Not really anything. I think Goldhoff is actually in really good shape. There's not much we can really do. 
We don't have much for these guys to do. Let's just have them work. Play Furnace and Bloomery. We're not building anything here anyways. Oh, but we should be. Yeah, we should. Let's pull one back and let's start making some more housing. I feel like this tannery should have been moved. These all can be moved. Once the clay's done and the, the iron's done, we're going to take those down too. And then the stone cutter can't. Actually, that can just be moved. The tannery will have to deconstruct and put somewhere else, but that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I should have left some room. Can we even build on this? It's too steep. And look at that hill. That is a hill. Oh boy, I did not realize it was that steep, actually. There's some room back here. I guess we'll just pack them in tight. <laughs> Everybody's favorite looking town, huh? It's very artistic and creative, as you can tell. Got Bandit Camp all the way down in Imenruth. So we're just going to hire the, the archers. Then come destroy these guys. Is there any mercenaries? Yep, there's the archers. They're probably going to snag them, though. Oh, wait, we hired them once. I think if you hire them first, the AI can't do it. Oh, they immediately, wow, they, they spawned in and immediately stole some stuff. It's pretty aggressive there. Let's watch our archers this time so we don't just run them in and get killed. Okay, these guys are deadly. They just took out five in a single volley. Oh, and then they missed. Here we go, another 126. So we're making enough. We could probably do another piece of land. I might leave some of these open until the end. It might be nice to have something to spawn the bandit camps in so we can just keep getting free influence. And uh, we had a fire. Shoot, where's that? Gold off? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It just zapped all of our timber. That was like 30 or whatever the max timber is. All right, these people did their job. Let's pull them back so the trees are all planted. Yeah, charcoal's looking really healthy now. Oh, wait a second. The clay is all done, right? Yeah, so we don't have any more clay, and there's no more on this piece of land. If we need it, we can just trade for it. So we can deconstruct this. We are definitely need another bloomery to keep up with it, though. So why don't we just do that? I wouldn't even mind doing a tool. What do you call it? The tool place? We need more wood, so let's get this guy running full steam until they get caught up. Are we getting veggies? No. I mean, there's a veggie in there, but I was hoping this would be enough. Yeah, not really. This marketplace is a little small for this whole area. Why don't we add another three? So one thing we could do is start trading these iron slabs. Let's keep a minimum of like 50. We'll sell everything above and beyond. And then also the tools. Export, we'll keep like 30. We're going to be making a ton of these things very soon. Oh yeah, we need timber. Yeah, this place needs more ox. I didn't do a good job of that. I just bought another one. We need one more after that. There we go. Timber's coming in now. So let's go ahead and build our tool. What's the place called? Smithy. Let's get a few more gambeson. I have a feeling we're going to be upgrading a ton of these soon. So I'd rather just have it on hand. Well, approval is almost at 100%. There we go. So we got 20 goats. The rest are going to be chickens for now. Yep, everybody else is goats. So that's fine. 68. We need more though. We need... Oh, I can't tell because a lot of them are being upgraded. Let's let that finish. See, I haven't looked at this in a little bit. Still not getting anybody coming in. I don't know what that's about. But we have a lot of cash here too. This is getting silly. I need to start buying the supplies. So let's go ahead and open up the trade. Again, we'll go one spear, some gambeson, four bow, large shield, and helmets. There you go. So 36 of everything, just a handful of gambeson though. Everything else we can get the full stock of. That's going to burn through a lot of our cash. But that's what it's there for. Oh, we just made a bunch too. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be in good shape. So we'll probably, what we'll do is one more archer, one more spear militia. We have way too much wood. It says we only have 12 months. That seems accurate. I'm going to scale back a little bit on the charcoal. I need to deconstruct one of these at some point too, because this is just too much. We're going to flood our market. We won't even be able to sell it. So that means our, our storage is just going to be swamped with this stuff. There's some things I don't mind it having in there, like, you know, a couple of the military things. This iron, well, the iron we need to burn through. But, like, the roof tiles, the stone, we can't get any more of that, so it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Church is up here. We also have our stalls. Who are we missing? We don't have clothing. Oh, because we don't... Yeah, we don't have anything. But let's go ahead and start some kind of industry here. We got somebody hunting. That should be fine. That'll we can get a little bit of leather going. I think that'll help us. Oh, there we go. Finally, somebody moved in. Okay, so we're in good shape now. We need to move these back, but let's wait till we get our tanner. 
Here we go. So why don't we start these? Why have everybody grabbed their stuff? Oh, they don't have... What are they missing? They haven't grabbed their weapons yet. Got it. Because they're sitting in the storage. Nice. Something got exhausted. The mining pit. That is... It's bio. So we don't have to worry about that one. I don't know if this iron ore will deteriorate if we let it go in the, the weather. So we'll just wait a little bit. We have a little ways to go on this the clay deposit. Yeah, this place is making so much money now. Okay, why is there no trees right here? All right, let's redo that. I must have messed something up. So we'll put one tree area right here. This one already on there. And this one already on there. Because those, those actually look really, really good. Well placed. So that's good. Next time... We could still put somebody on there. That's fine. We got we got to find a place for these people to work anyways. All right, it's time to level up. Yep, let's level these people up. Right, we're getting a lot of people joining. There we go. That should give us two levels here. Valdebrand. Val, Valdebrand. Yeah, whatever the name is. Now, down here, it's time to clean this up. Let's get rid of some of this junk back here. And then we'll scoot this thing back. Same with this. And same with the hitching post. Actually, this street was... Pretty poorly placed. Yeah, I already built some stuff on it though. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave it. We'll make it better later. Maybe we'll get to this corner and then bend it straight. Yeah, we'll just use some ghetto road until we get... Oh, that's not even the one I wanted to go to. This one. Yeah, we'll move this out of the way too. And then we can start building housing back here. Actually, we can just do that right now, right? Seven, nine. We got room for two more families. Okay, let's just get a bunch of infrastructure set up. We'll get another hitching post. I am going to want to build these. just don't know where exactly. I guess we could just put them here. This road looks terrible, but I might just leave it then. If it's going to be a pain in the butt to have to redo it. We'll see. We could always move these two. And this place is looking really good. Wait, why can we not... Why, oh, you have a ton of stuff here. Why can we not... We should be able to equip. We have the stuff. Are they just not using it? What happened? 36 bows. Are they just stuck in there then? Maybe we have to get it out. Let's get our large storehouse, see if they'll go pick it up for us. Maybe it's the port export thing. Maybe that's screwing it up. Do we have these here? No, they're, they store it somewhere else. Yeah, it's like they're all stored in the houses. So the people need to go get it. Why are they not doing that? I'm going to save and reload because that might be the issue here. All right, how about now? Yeah, so there was just some kind of bug. That's fine. We're short on people. We're not really short on equipment. It's, I think it's just people. Yeah, so they take all that out of the supply, which means they're going to stock this back up to 36. We'll get our helmets. That'll be perfect. Now, what we should be doing is making more housing. Can we support it? Yeah, we. it's fine. We'll put another three market stalls, whatever. Yeah, it's a shame we can't build anything here. Can we build it this way? Yeah, that's not an appropriate spot because we can't build housing down here. Yeah, it's all bad. Well, why don't we build back this way then? There, we can start building back here. And actually what we'll probably end up doing is make this a little bit bigger so they're a little more compact. There we go. We can do that. And then we can also drop a road this way. And that way we can get another market stall somewhere back here. Oh, we got a bandit camp. Oh, we didn't even release these guys. Jeez, we still have them out. The last run that I was using, we're doing, I was using um, mercenaries. So I, I just left them out the whole time. I didn't need it. It was the mercenary only challenge. All right, we're gonna need the better deals here in Bold Brun so we can get at least one group. We don't have a ton of cash here. We have a good amount, but we don't have a ton. So why don't we go spears first? Actually, I'm thinking about that. Our retinue is gonna be great for the front line, so we could probably just go straight archers at this point. And they're easier to equip. So why don't we do that? We'll go heavy archers. We still need some until we get our retinue. So at some point, we'll maybe we'll disband all these spearmen. So we're going to need the war bow. We're going to need, for sure, the helmets. And we'll get a couple games in. There are a few upgrades here, but there's not that many. So maybe we'll just keep it at, like, five. Yeah, this looks good. So we'll get a, a regiment of archers from here, at least. Well, two, technically, we'll get our two regiments from there at some point. But we're almost maxed out. And then we can start spamming the retinue. And once we get our retinue, it's going to be a little pricey, but we need to start taxing stuff uh, yeah because the, they're 50 each we're gonna have with just these four regions it's gonna be 96 right it's 24 times 4 so 100 minus 4 96 we get 20 of them so 70 76 so 76 times 58 is what we need whatever that is 
that's 4,408 gold, according to the calculator. So about 4,500 gold. We obviously have nowhere near that amount, so we will probably need to start doing that soon. But like I said, I don't want to get the retinue out until we have these guys max. Then we'll pull them out because we need to get... That's one of the challenges is just to get the max size army minus the mercenaries. There's not much we can do about that. Wow, we're able to clear it. We sold out of everything. Charcoal tools. Yep. Hides. We're, we're getting a few too many hides now, actually. We might need to sell... Yeah, we might need to sell some if we can't keep up with the production. The store... I think maybe the problem is the storehouse is just getting overwhelmed. It can't keep up with all of this. So we probably need to build a couple more. One of these days, I'm going to have to try like a central location layout. I'll just kind of map it out before we build anything. Like maybe the center will have a series of three warehouses, three granary, and it all branches out from there. You have like a, a wing of residential, basically just pre-plan everything, almost like a template. Might be interesting to try out. Oh boy, we got raiders too. Where are they coming in at? They're coming in from the AI's territory, actually. These guys are really close. I don't think we need them. I think we can handle it without. So let's go ahead and rally everyone. So we'll call forth the banners. And then we'll get these guys back pretty quick, hopefully. They're actually sending their brigand down to attack our archers, it looks like. So we'll have to deal with this guy quick. Oh, we actually lost some people. Back up to almost 950. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to attack us. So why don't we meet somewhere here in the middle? We can rally some archers from here. Yeah, our army's coming together pretty nicely. There we go. So they're finally approaching. We've got a little bit of an advantage. We've got three groups of archers. They routed pretty quickly there. We didn't really lose anything. These guys need to go back to the Tlaiao. There we go. So we should be able to break that up. Uh, how much influence did we get? Wow. I think we were at like 1,200. I could be wrong on that. I thought it was like 11 or 1,200. And then after the bandit camp and then those two. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll save... We could take one of these and then save the last battle for later. And then just... Yeah, we can get like a, a legit full army and then take them out once we have everything maxed. That'd be kind of cool. It won't make for an interesting battle necessarily because they're going to get completely stomped, but it will be interesting to see what a, a real late game army looks like. Can we do any mercenaries? Yeah, we can still do the archers. So we got a couple. I guess it would have been kind of nice to to get them on board too. Some get a few more mercenaries on board. It's just so hard when you don't have any income. Like consistent income, I mean. Like, this is all just killing bandits. Here we go. How are our groups looking? Maxed. Oh, what happened? I thought we had two groups of spears. What happened? Did I... Maybe I right-clicked on somebody. Goldhoff. Tlaiao, Goldhoff. So I must have right-clicked these guys on accident. There should be a group of spears here as well. Yeah, there we go. That's probably what happened. We're going to right-click them soon anyways. But not quite yet. Would it be set for our limit? Yeah, char that's way too low. We need to get our charcoal limit a lot higher than that. Leather, we can set that up a little higher too, since we have quite a few people now. And same thing here, let's just build a temporary charcoal kiln, I guess. They want to, but we need it. Now this place needs to expand pretty heavily as well. There we go. Get a huge expansion. Bodies. Oh yeah, we killed a bunch of stuff here. I don't think any of them were ours, so we just need the dump. The corpse pit. Let's get it outside of town so it doesn't bug anybody one of the buildings bugged out so quick reload yep there we go we got a bandit camp nice good thing we have archers here so this is in waldbrand waldbrand yeah they're close this should be easy all right let's see if we can get them to slow down we already got a body pit in construction anyways it's fine what's another 10 bodies that put us over a thousand pretty close to 2000 as well i thought we would have had it off that last one actually but i guess not I think uh, same thing we did with the other place. We're just going to do some infrastructure expansion here. We will need a lot of this stuff soon. Just maybe not quite yet. Do we have? No, we don't. We need something for stone. I'll go deaf from all that hammering. Back up here, we need a few more people, right? Yeah, we're getting close. There you go. There's eight more families. 
These little chicken coops. These little got chicken. Okay, I think. We're doing pretty good on leather and hides. I don't think we need any more goats. Eggs are coming in nice. We should probably get a few big plots. This would be a good one, but unfortunately it's that steep hill. We could probably build something there. Just not the housing, I guess. All right, we're coming into March. It's time to get berries and get the trees planted. Let's get the trees planted here first, and then we'll leave the rest to... Oh, you know what? We'll leave one person to build. We need to get charcoal. Yeah, that firewood is out of control. We got to reduce that charcoal. We can sell the excess so it won't ever really get out of hand like the firewood is. I mean, it's good to have a little bit of a cushion, though, so I didn't mind it for the early game. Well, that reminds me. We can upgrade the church. Let's do that. Yeah, this place has got a lot of money, so 10,000, that's good. It didn't even occur to me. We could do two half groups, and now it'll stop us from creating more. So once you hit six, you're toast. But we don't even need a full group. We just need a partial group to be the placeholder. Oh, why didn't I think of that earlier? Jeez, Louise. Yeah, ten. all you need is ten bows to make two. Five and five. The minimum you need is five. So we could have had placeholders. And then now, because we can't do anything else anyways we might as well just build the manor house right here so let's get that going in the previous episode we claimed a third territory fire destroyed a bunch of our woods we started our manor house took out two bandits and continued to grow our town i also want to try and make this thing look cool i don't know if we can but i'm definitely going to try i'm going to put it over here and we're just going to immediately put this thing out. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that for now. And that gives us a retinue. But we have to wait for this to finish building now. Alright, so they'll build that. Actually, a lot of people can build retinue. Yeah, let's get a manor house. Oh, they need, they need a saw pit going. Let's get that. This place does not have stone. But this place should have stone. No, it doesn't. Top. And near side. Right, manor house not quite done yet there we go now where do we want to set this one up oh this can be put on the hill though yeah that's that's kind of cool so we'll put it right there we need more everything to build the other half that's fine we just need to get some income going from this so let's build that oh they got a lot of stuff to build oh boy actually there's plenty of trees here let's pull these guys off we don't need to mess with the trees i'll be looking here to finish up so we can earn some stuff on man we're gonna have so much money if we do 10 percent here it's gonna give us a thousand right off the bat just a thousand bucks now we do need to get a couple things going here so this one the stone we need same thing here was the stone yeah we just need stone here we're good yeah i forgot we had it's pretty hard to remember like what you're doing we had a, a pit there that had absolutely nothing going on Oh, that's, yeah, we're building a big church. That's probably why this is going so slow. All right, well, let's just focus one at a time. Nice, this one's done. Open up our taxes. We do want to tithe. Let's just go, like, 5%. I think land tax, we can go maybe 5% is fine. Wow, that took all of our cash. So we don't have any money for upgrades, but that's fine. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to rally them. I'm going to have them guard this village over here because they these guys have absolutely nothing. They have no militia. So if they get attacked, they're just waiting for people to reinforce and you hope that they get there in time. But this is a pretty short distance if they spawn here on the edge of the map. So just to be safe, the other three have militia. So I'm not as concerned there. We'll bring them back to upgrade as soon as we get our cash flow going. Actually, no, we should probably just wait a month to do that. Yeah, let's just wait a month. We're going to have cash flow right now as soon as this ticks over. Yeah, we don't even need that much. 5% should be more than what we need. So, yeah, let's just wait. Oh, we burned through a lot. Oh, that's not good. It's because we're selling a lot. That's what we ran into here. So maybe let's raise this up to 150 in case this happens again. And what I'm going to do is actually... Let's full trade these down to zero. We're going to start switching over to just archers. Now, we still need the helmets and the gambesons and all that stuff. But the other things we don't need. Spears and shields we don't need. Oh, uh, crap. I don't think I can do it, actually. As soon as I right-click this, this retinue is going to count. And I won't be able to click it back. I needed to do it before I did the retinue. That was a mistake. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's okay. We'll have two militia of spearmen. We'll have four archers. We'll have two... Actually, why don't we just hire these guys before they get bugged out? Yeah, Goldhoff. 
We'll get these archers going. Well, they can protect the village for now then. That's fine. Okay, how are we looking here? 18. So it's just Valdebrand. This is the only place that's not maxed. These guys are maxed by all. Yeah, 42. It's too many, but that's all right. Better too many than too few. Now, the other thing we should probably start doing is throwing up some eggs. We got our money. You know what we should do is save up our money until we get max retinue, and then we'll upgrade them all at the end. Let's just do it all at once. Yeah, I'd rather have a bigger army than a well-armored. I, I feel like units are probably more important. Still haven't finished this church, man. That's taking forever. I wonder if it's because... Yeah, we only have two ox. What am I doing? I'm not really good with multiple towns. It's really hard for me to, to focus, actually. Oh, I even have a hitching post for it, too. Order an ox, and then as soon as we get another plank, we can... Yeah, we have somebody in there. Uh, they can't even... That, that's why they can't make planks, because the oxen are being used for all this construction. Okay, this manor house is done. Let's get these guys upgraded as well. We can't make that many, though. So we need 950 gold to be able to do that. That's fine. We will leave it. And we will start taxing this place as well. Everybody's going to get taxed. And back up here, yeah, we're getting a ton of fuel again, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh, that's the wrong town. It's this one. Five months. Yeah, this one's still low. Not a problem. We also need to upgrade the, this castle thing. We need planks. Can't get planks because we're still delivering. There we go. We can build our manor house. We can even make the extension. That's kind of cool. There's another mining pit exhausted. This is Tsvayao. I'm just going to destroy it. That's fine. If it decays, whatever. I don't want to forget. So that gives us a couple more workers. We have way too much firewood. We got to back off on that. So what do we need to build here then? We're still waiting for the upgrade. We can't get that until this guy starts doing his thing. Is he doing his thing? He's not crafting. Yeah, one of them is. What do we got here? So... Manor house is being built there. We should be building manor house here. There we go. We can build it. Put it over here. Now I'm a little confused. I feel like we should have had a lot more money than this. Or, or the tax is not working. We've got... Let's see. We've got about 650 coming our way from here. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. That's what I was expecting then. So these guys are maxed. These guys need to be maxed. They don't even have the building though. Alright, sweet. We got it now. There, so they're maxed. Yeah, this place is making an incredible amount of money, but we're going to be taxing them pretty heavily. Not heavily, but because they have so much regional wealth, it's going to turn into a huge payment to us. I kind of wish I grabbed a few more mercenaries early on. We just didn't have any way to, to do it. Well, yeah, we did. Now that I think about it, we do, because like I said, we only need 10. Yeah, we only need 10 of each, and then we could immediately start. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I could do it from the first town. Six would be, th it would only be 30. We wouldn't even need a full group. We could just do, we could just spam six from the first town. And then we would just make a mega town. Oh man. And then we could use the money from the mercenaries just to spam. We would have a ton of mercenaries. Well, but then, yeah, it'd be kind of hard to, to pay for them until we get the mega town paying, paying out money. Uh, that's okay. We'll figure something out. It's still going to be a big army. It's just... Now, if we want to build a big castle, we mostly just need stone. That's the only thing that's not renewable here, which is actually not a problem because we can just bring it in. We can trade for it. We could build a pretty big town, actually. Fortification around everything. Might be a fun thing to do. Money is looking good. We can upgrade this if we have the resources. And we do. Because of that, we can upgrade these guys again. Beautiful. That's another retinue down. That's... Three, we can get a few more. Now, Waldbrand still needs to be upgraded. Yeah, we still need to be getting more people in here. Do we have the food? We got 10 goats. Let's go 15 goats, and then the rest can be chickens. That should be a little bit more. There's another 8. 15, 8. Yeah, I think we're getting close, but that'll post at 26. Now we need quite a bit more still. Yeah, we can't even keep up. We need more trading posts, I think, because these guys can't even keep up. Right, did I set tax policy? I did. We should be making a couple thousand per, uh, what is it, per month or per season? I think it's per month. Oh man, this thing has been building for such a long time. <laughs> okay, we'll relieve a few people here so they can go help. Nice, we got a bandit camp. I'm going to only send one group down here though. Just in case we get raided. Sometimes bandit camps and raids 
go hand in hand. And we don't really want to deal with that. And these guys are fast. They're catching us. That's with them stopping every like 10, 10 seconds or so. Okay, I don't want to lose any mercenaries because we have no way of replacing them. I guess we could let them go and then they'll replenish. But then there's a chance that we may not be able to rehire them. I don't really want to take that chance. Here we go. So our other archers should be getting shots. Wow, they already... Yeah, it was like two volleys and they failed. But we'll pick the rest of the stone so we can delete that. Alright, so we got... Treasury chain... Oh, we only got it from two places. So 658, 258, about 900. It's not nearly as much as I thought we'd be getting. I mean, it's still a lot. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, we took all of the clay. We took all the iron. Yep, so these are all done. And there's nothing left, so we need to cut these down. Both of these demolished. That frees up even more workforce. We don't really have anything for them to do. We could probably go into some farming. That would be smart. All right, regiments are looking strong. We got 36 out of 36 for most of them, except for Waldbrand, but we're working on that. We'll work on something maybe over the winter. You know, I'm going to start working on this. I really want to see what this looks like. So if we build... Wait, this tax office doesn't do anything though, right? Oh no, it does extend it. Interesting. Wait, limit reached, but then <laughs> I can keep building it. Oh boy. I think I see an exploit coming. Yeah, because I could use that to branch out, build those towers. And then I believe those towers shoot arrows. Garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies. So I'm wondering if we could just spam a ton of these things and just make a massive town. And then you, <laughs> you could do like a tower creep. That would be interesting. All right, uh, apparently you can delete that thing. I did not actually want to delete it. That was a mistake. That's fine. But we'll build it up again. We got a bunch of people not doing anything anyways. So a couple things we need to get. This place fully populated. Yeah, you can see it is helping. And this place does not have charcoal. Why is that? We need a lot of charcoal here. So trading post, tannery, granary, and I think... Where's our warehouse? Ah, uh, it's right there. Large warehouse. All right, no chance we fit charcoal in there. We already have a bunch of stuff here. So that's not going to work. So I guess we'll build it near the church. All right, mercenaries took that. We can go chill for a little while now. All right, I'm doing something wrong here. I'm wondering why we haven't had somebody come in in a long time. We have 1,400. Oh, here he comes. He's coming in. Let's just see what he does. Yep. And there's probably the other guy. Maybe, maybe the trade carts take longer because we're on the edge of the map. There we go. So that should be a lot of stuff. Yep. They needed to distribute that stuff. And then that won't be the bottleneck anymore. Now, how are we doing here? Yeah, we're, our fuel is actually going down. Let's keep our reserve at 200 then. And we'll put a couple people in the woodcutters. That should be fine. We, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pick that up. Food is okay though? Yeah, food's 25 months. It's crazy. All right, we got a lot of money. There we go, another max. Yeah, we, we can't upgrade people until we get more money because we are we do still have to pay for our mercenaries. Yeah, we already gained an extra month because of the firewood. Okay, so we're good there. We got a bunch of unemployed people here. What are they gonna do? Yeah, we're already occupying a lot of this stuff. We put extra charcoal kiln. Let's try and spam out the stones, I guess. But we can build another warehouse if we need to, to, to store it all. So to have a setup like this, I mean, we don't need this outfit, actually. Why do we have so many planks? I wish there was a, a way to not just construction reserve, but how many planks we want to have, because there's no way we're going to need 80 planks. 439 planks. What the heck are you doing, plank dude? <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of planks. So we should probably sell some of that. Why don't we go trade that off? So let's go ahead and export that down to like maybe a hundred. Yeah, we don't need that many. Although that might not be bad money. All right, we're getting raided. Oh, nice, they're raiding the AI. <laughs> all right, why don't we rally all the archers? Calling all archers in the kingdom, let's go. But they're actually going up that way. So we'll have to defend up here. Okay, so why don't we sprint just so we can get there. It's only two groups. Assuming we get everybody here on time, we should be able to handle it. Oh, wow. We're going to have literally everyone. Right, they are looking to torch stuff. Nope. They saw us. Now they're going to back up. Now, what I'm going to do here is the old split them up. And whoever gets chased, 
will be the ones to bait them back. The other guys will pick them off from the side. This should be a bit of a bloodbath. The, the reason I want to get these guys out here is because they can get XP. Yeah, see, some of these guys don't have experience. Oh, man, that looks nasty. But these guys need to back out. What are you doing, man? Just run. Run, 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 run. All right, they're broken. Same thing's probably going to happen to these guys. You know what this game really needs is a go back home and disband button. That would be lovely because it is kind of a pain to have to manage that. We do have a little bit of money. Let's start upgrading these guys. And I know I've said it before, but an upgrade all button would really be nice right now. There we go. That's everybody fully maxed. All right, now what I'm thinking we should probably do is we need to take these other territories over. Maybe starting with one of the enemies. Let's see, which one do we want? This is another farming one. I don't really want another farming one, but, but yeah, we'll take that one last then. We'll probably do a claim on this, but that means we need to rally everybody. But let's get these guys maxed out first. Now, food is going to be an issue here until we buy a bunch of chickens. So that's actually not a problem. So that will probably sustain us then. All right, how many do we have? Right, we have 25. We have space for 31. We need five more. Let's get five more. That'll be our 36. And as luck would have it, well, not quite. We squeeze a few more in here, but let's just get one. There. That's five more. So that'll be 36. When everybody moves in here, we'll have a fully maxed army for what we currently own anyways. Now, a couple things we could do. Why don't we claim this place? We'll save the 2k until we fight them up here. That'll be another one. We'll claim this one. We need to get retinue out so that we can have a full battle with, you know, max everything. All right, you guys go back home. You guys go work. All right, this one is turning around nicely. So we got seven months of food before we were at like three or four. It's kind of wild how much money we spent, actually. Timber. I don't know if we really want to do this during winter time. Let's wait till next year. We'll start the new colony at that point. Especially if we can save up a few bucks. Then we can do the 750 one that gives us a ton of extra supplies. I think that would be the smart choice. Now, this place doesn't need to have a ton of population yet. We'll get there eventually, but I think for now, probably okay. We have only one livestock. Let's grab ourselves another ox. And actually, the trade post should probably have another one. Yeah, okay, so this place actually ran out of stone. So we need to get rid of that stone cutter. Wait, what? Apparently, I had two. Didn't realize that. Oh, no wonder this storehouse is completely full. And we have four people in here. So let's get rid of them. Yeah, that, I was wondering where all the people were. Like, this place is not even that big. In terms of, like, work, we have only a few things we can put them on. So that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to put everybody on strict fasting, but I don't think this thing, it actually works. It's supposed to give a debuff to approval. I've never once seen it do anything, so I don't think it actually does anything. I don't know why, but we had two stone cutters, and then that guy's got a ton of stone. So 134, we should be able to pull that in now. We don't have enough money to open the trade route for some reason. Oh, you know what? We can take the perk. We'll probably be doing better deal everywhere. Yeah, we're going to need more perks anyways. That's fine. So now we can afford it. This place is... It's a little low on food, but that's because we haven't built chickens yet. All the chickens. So five more chickens. That should be enough. We'll keep these people happy. Not everybody's moved in yet, but you can see we're getting there. We need 10 more. We have 26 families here. We built up to 36, so we just need 10 families to move in. And then we are completely done. We'll be able to field the two regiments from here. Oh man, we did it again. Look how many planks. Two, 298 planks. Little too many planks. Also the stone cutter. So we'll finish taking all the stone. What else? We could take all the iron. We don't even have a there so let's clear that out so that'll be two down there we can do this clear that out all right we're gonna need two ox for that we need another ox here for the trading post let's get that going these people are upset they don't have any food well yeah i'd be upset too actually what we should probably do can we get oh we have it already i just haven't built it no i did build it <laughs> uh charcoal kiln okay i promise i do know what i'm doing i just don't always do it. All right, there we go. We are buying more bows, which is a good sign. That means we are collecting stuff. Yeah, it means we're hiring out more people. So 26. Yeah, still still 26. 
Well, 2,500, we have quite a bit of resources. For one of these, we don't really need to, to worry about it. Let's just fight it. Let's we'll rally everybody. We do the opposite of what most people do. Usually you campaign in the, the good seasons. We're going to campaign in the winter. Because that's when we can't do anything else anyways. Okay, yeah, let's speed this up. Like I said, this is a pretty small battle. Yeah, we'll leave our mercenaries back behind because we need somebody to defend in case we get raided. But I think we'll probably be alright. We just dealt with a raid actually, so yeah, I don't think that'll be an issue. Let's go ahead and claim. That leaves us with 705, so we'll have enough to claim this one soon. And then we'll need to save up 2k to do that last one. That'll give us time to build all the stuff that we want. Oh, good luck defending this one, dude. Is that everybody? Yep, everybody except for the mercenaries. Oh, wait, why are these guys... Some of their units must be stuck. It says they're still rallying. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. I've noticed that sometimes they get stuck on the manor house. Oh, well. So that'll form our vanguard front line. We're going to have a couple pairs of spearmen. Probably all the way in the back, the reserves. Get our archers sandwiched in between. That way they can't really flank us. All right, here we go. So here's our retinue. Oh, nice. They actually all showed up. Lovely. Hey, which one is this? Get back here, dude. What are you doing? They had some people just standing out front for some reason. Here we go. So these guys are definitely going to try and flank. So we'll pull these to deal with the melee. We'll probably rotate the archers to take out their archers. Unless we can get a good flank. Actually, we should really focus on these. So let's press forward. And actually, what we should be doing is sliding over. Because they love to try and get around you. Now let's already get these guys out on the flank because there's no way they're going to get around us right now. Let's start moving these guys over a little bit. Whatever we land right here is not that good of a hit. Now they're going to load up pretty heavily on this side. So what we might end up doing is pulling them back. Yeah, I kind of want to do one of these, the fallback, the give ground. And then maybe that'll open up enough for our archers to get shots off like right on their flank. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, they're taking heavy losses from that. Wow, that was good. All right, two retinue against their retinue. One of each of these guys against them. We'll have these guys go chase the archers and then the archers are gonna do whatever they're gonna do. So we need to sprint. I don't know where these guys went. Oh, look at that flank. Right on the backside. All right, where do those archers go? They had some archers somewhere around here. All right, I'm not sure where, so let's just sandwich these guys. Oh, they're broken. I was going to say, we didn't lose anybody, but we did over here, actually. Yeah, we lost three retinue. It's fine. These guys are going to break as soon as we touch them. Yep, they broke. Where's the archer? For sure they had a group of archers here somewhere. All right, we need to find out where those archers went. They're probably hiding in the, the woods back here. I was, I was about to say the jungle, but... All right, there they are. Yep, we got them. Ooh, they're taking shots. Let's actually get these guys back. They already took some hits. So whoever's not getting shot at, they can push forward. And that should allow them to get some more damage. And we'll also go missile stance alert. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're already... <laughs> well, I was going to try and get technical here, but not necessary when they're just going to get stomped. So we lost exactly three people. Kind of expected based on their army composition and then what the enemy threw at us. But, you know, it was a little shocking. So gold hawk. Everybody can go back home. There we go. That's two more. Yep. So we need to inhabit these two. We need to take this one before we do the last one. We'll do the final siege at that point. Got a lot of influence to go, but we're going to have a lot of manor houses that we can tithe from. All right. So tithe, we got 17, 29, and 34. So that's 80. That's actually not bad. Still numbers. So it's just going to be it, what we can get. And in terms of retinue, we can hire two more. Upgrade them. It's not going to be much. And then I think we got one more. Yeah, the guys that are running back right now, they need to replace. Disband these guys. Let's get them another retinue. Yep. Yeah, I think that maybe that's the way to upgrade it. It automatically selects them when you do recruit. So you could just go back and forth without having to select click up here. So it saves you one click. I'll probably try and do that a little faster. Try that out next time. So another couple months. Yeah, we'll start those. Uh, I don't want to do it in the middle of the winter. So I'm going to adjust these upward a little bit our floor for leather and charcoal. I don't want to sell through everything because so we need to make sure that we don't run out. You never know, something might happen. We have to go to war and we can't. 
support all this stuff, so let's not go too wild on that. Nice. Made more money. It is January. Okay, we don't have a tax here. We don't need a tax. This one we don't have either. I am going to put a tithe here. And we probably don't need that much money. Let's put a 5% tax. Not that we need it, but I uh, want the money. Got a bandit camp sighting. We could actually use a retinue. Or Valdebrand. Or you know what? We have archers here still. It's fine. I don't want to disturb people in winter. Let's just use a retinue. There's no way these guys survive. Yeah, there's no way they get a kill either. We should just stomp them. Yeah, four attack, 81 armor is just stupid. That's a lot. And the charge damage is really good too. Three. The only other unit in the game that says charge, they they do two. All right, so we're going to charge right into them. Yeah, they're folding pretty quick. They're going to break. There they go. And actually, what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and place these guys to help guard the new territory that we've taken. A gold hoff as well. We're going to build something over here. Let's get them to muster. Oh, nice. We can take this last one. Nusalo Nusaloha. Let's get that one going. January, February. Almost to March. Once we're in March, we can switch. Right, how much did we actually get for that? Tithes. We got very little in tithe. We got good money, but we just didn't get a whole lot. Assuming that means we don't have a whole lot of excess food. So we probably need to fix that. Alright, mining pit is down here, so that's another resource completed. Actually, we need more. So why don't we just keep Ikenau here? They can use their own retinue. Let's use our mercenaries to go protect this new place. And then we have militia everywhere else, so that's fine. Yeah, we're getting a little bit in tithe. It's not very much. Now we have just about everybody in place. I think what we do is just all three at once. And then we're going to use the exact same build order for each, just so I don't get confused. We're just going to put them near the berries and the hunt. So first things first, as always, let's get our storage up. Now this one has berries and hunt a little far away from each other, but I think we can still manage. I'd rather be close to the berries. Yeah, these aren't too far from each other, so this is a pretty good spot too. Alright, so all three are going to do the exact same thing. So once this one's done building, we'll tell them to get all their stuff off. Like I said, we'll just... You know, we can just do it like this. Just do it off of the feed. There we go. Yeah, we don't even have to watch. Uh, missing one. Who didn't do their storehouse? I still building. Yeah, it's a little further away. There we go. We got it. All right, all three are done. So again, we're just going to watch one. When they're done moving their stuff, then the assumption is everybody's not far behind. Yep, they're all waiting, so they got nothing to do. Let's pull them back. We have a ton of supplies here. This is going to be really good, actually. So berries and hunt and a logging camp. So while they're doing that, let's go down here. Let's get our mercenaries down here. Close. Actually, did we pull these guys close? Yep, they're in there. These guys have nothing to do. The storehouse still has some. That's fine. When they're done, we can reassign them. Let's get everything going. So we need a logging camp. The hunt is quite far from here, but yeah, you know, let's just not even bother. All right, that place is up and running. We just need to collect some wood so we can build houses. Yeah, this one's fine too. We just need to get food stashed away, so we're going to pick as many berries as we can. Man, they take forever, huh? All right, looks like the granary's done, though. Yeah, they're just waiting, so let's pull them off. Unfortunately, it's raining on our stuff. There you go. Actually, they got it all just in time. All right, let's make sure this all gets built so we can assign people. And while we wait for that, we can tour. Let's make sure everybody's got supplies. I don't really care all that much about them being optimized. I just want to make sure they have enough yeah, food and firewood to survive while we're not paying attention to them. This place is going to take forever, so let's go back up here see how we're doing on the wood. We have a lot of timber now. Holy crap. So we can easily build houses. Those guys are building houses, so they're good for a while. It actually seems like we can instantly build the houses. So I think they give us the starting supplies enough to, to cover it, looks like. Sweet. Okay, how are we looking down here now? Are we finally there? Yes. For some reason, it's not letting me build. We have the materials. It's not a steep hill. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a steep hill. Strange. Alright, let's see if we can build it on this side, maybe. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know what that was about. Here we go. Burgage plots are going up, so we need to wait for that. And we'll go back around. We still need to secure firewood. Well, not really. We have a lot. We need to get our manor house up. That's all we need is planks. 
we're getting to that point in the game where there's so many pop-ups you can't really move the camera around because it just jumps everywhere. Right, we need to get planks, so we'll need to get 20 planks there. We'll come back. How's our burgage plot looking here? Oh, it's done. The same thing, we need to get planks. And these guys haven't even started the houses. What are you guys doing? And the nice thing is you do start with 150 regional wealth here. So we're not going to be going for profit. Let's just go for security. Let's make sure we have enough food. Going all eggs. That takes us down to 25 out of the 150 we started with, but it's all we probably need. Almost got it. Five more. Got it. Let's pull him off. Let's build our manor house. We are going to need the upgrade too, though, so we'll probably need to do a few more planks. I think we start with the stone because we did the big upgrade. Should did this guy. Did you guys finish your freaking houses? Nope. What are they doing? <laughs> I have no idea what these guys are doing. Oh, whatever. Let's get this manor house up. All right, that's it. All right, these guys have just started building a house. Wow. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's because the location. Were they taking logs up here? No, they weren't. It's not that hard to take a log from here up here. Yeah, maybe it is actually. Okay, how are we looking? It's gonna take a while. How are we looking here? Waldebrand is still filling up, but it's almost there actually. They've got 34. Yeah, 34, so they need two more houses to fill up. Almost there. In the previous episode, we started upgrading our retinue. We claimed our fourth territory, defeated raiders in the new territory, fine-tuned our production efficiency, and focused on income and trading. Nice, that does give us influence. A little help a little bit. We need, oh wow, we need logs and this stuff. So let's put him back to grab some logs. Actually, we're gonna need some firewood here soon. But is that what that says? Yeah, we need fuel. Oh, we got raiders. Raiders and Nusloha, yeah, it's exactly why I put these guys down here. If we didn't have them here, they would be in here in a heartbeat and we would lose everything. So Valdebran, can we get some reinforcements just in case? Oh, they're already guarding somebody. We could take the archers. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here they come. They're gonna be coming after us. Let's get out in the open. Wait, is that more? Or is that the same too? Maybe he's bugging out. Here we go. Everybody's here. Alright, there they are. I was wondering where they went. So, man, I really hope they didn't try and flank and take out this place. We did build the manor house, but we need to get a deal with some stuff here. So, we're gonna need more logs. Let's just have them do that for now. Did this one finally build? They're still not done with the house. That's insane. Oh, you know what? I forgot to build the chickens here, too. Make sure we don't run out of food. Yeah, we're good on food, but we'll take a little extra. Okay, here we go. So two, three, there might be four on this one. I can't tell who they're going after. It looks like this one, so we'll probably move up a little closer on the sides. It looks like they're going for this guy too. So we need to pull these guys back. They should destroy these. Come on, get a shot off on them, please. Oh, wow, they broke. All right, so we can get these guys to shoot at them then. I mean, that's as easy a shot as you can get. Oh boy, we have another one behind. They still have full health. Why are you... How is nobody dead on there? Yeah, they're going to catch. Oh, they're not going to catch. All right, please everybody get a shot. Oh, they're turning. Oh, they just lost like more than half of their guys. All right, those guys are for sure going to... Catch. Oh, they just stopped. Oh, look at that crossfire. Nasty. Yeah, they broke. So we'll send these guys back, and the mercenaries can go hang out. Hey, they finally finished. After weeks and weeks. Let's go and get their food ready as well. Wait, one more time. How are we looking up here? I think, did we put the, the woodcutters? We did, so we're starting to stack up. We are good on food for a very long time, which means we should probably pull the foragers. All right, they're good. We need planks. Once we have those, we can upgrade. And again, we have a lot of food. So let's pull a bunch of people back. Let's go woodcutter, one on the saw pit. 
the vet place. Both of those are good until we get a few more planks. But this place needs woodcutter lodge. Yeah, look, I can't even move. It's just shooting me to the corner of the map every time I try and move. I have to pause the game, move, and then unpause. They really need to add an option to not do that. I don't need to snap to all these things. Just not necessary. So 1.5k is pretty good. We're going to hit 2k soon. Maybe even by the time we get all the retinue ready. That'd be nice. All right, planks. These guys have planks. Pull the graph the saw pit so we can work on that. So that's the upgrade. Yeah, this guy needs to come off. Let's upgrade this one. And these slackers haven't even built their freaking manor house. Yeah, we don't have logs and we don't have timber. All right, everybody off the food. This is ridiculous. Let's just put everybody on logs and one person on saw pit. Okay, so we can upgrade all these guys. We got over 10k, so it shouldn't be a problem that we're spending a little extra on it. Everybody should upgrade it there. We got one more. And one last time, double check, make sure there's no mercenaries. Nope, this is all we're getting until we take their last piece of land, and then obviously we can get that too. Oh wait, no, 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 we don't even have a manor house here. We got one more retinue to go. What am I talking about? Now, I haven't toured the place. I haven't seen how we're doing. This guy's getting low on food, actually. That's not good. And again, we're just filling up on planks. 641 planks. Like, come on, dude. Do we really need that many planks? Let's get rid of all of them. Let's go down to like 100. No, instead, we should be on the berries. It's fine. We can fill up on berries. It's not a problem. And then actually, what we should really be doing is putting up these chicken coops so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, that should be more than enough to get them back on track. Good thing I looked. I mean, seven months is still kind of a long time. These guys are 20 months now. Well, the brand. Did they max out? They did. Good job. So now we got max archers. As soon as we disband these guys, they'll go to 36. Yep. Wait, what? This is we're short? I don't think so. I don't think we're short of Warbo. Are we short of person? No, I don't think so. Yep, there it goes. So we got max. Okay, everything should be good here. Let's see if we have enough to build this thing now. Still not enough goods. What the hell is going on? Alright, we can build it. We need to save up for a while to get the other stuff too. They're just delivering stone to that place and then we'll have it. And we got food and wood going up. Food and wood going up. Yeah, and then the last place was at like 7 or 8 or whatever. Now it's a lot higher. We're just waiting on this one. And we have everything we need to as soon as it's done. That gives us exactly 2k. There we go, there's another one. There we go, they're all maxed. That's everybody. That's a big army, man. That is a lot. So we went ahead and mustered everybody together. Arranged them in a very simple, just basically a straight line. Got archers in the back. It's going to be a very quick battle, I suspect. Let's claim it. They'll come out, try and fight. They will fail miserably. This is for all the marbles. We have over 450 units. They have... Uh, about a 900 unit battle. So it looks like they're just going to run straight. What I'm going to do is actually, let's get the archers a little bit tighter. They're going to try and flank. So what we're going to do is put up a little bit of an angle on the defense. They can't get by us. As long as we don't get flanked, we win this. Actually, they're starting to curl on the side a bit. So what I'm going to do is pull these guys back a little bit more. Well, they can try and flank. We will just keep turning. And as soon as our archers start shooting, it should be GG. There they go. There goes Molly. Now, it's not going to really do much against these guys unless we're getting flanks. It should do pretty good damage against these guys. And actually, what I'd rather do is have them target their archers. Like, they're trying to charge us. So we're going to counter charge. They're charging us here. We charge both of those. Right, let's extend our line a little bit. These guys can meet them. And I think that's just about everybody. So these guys can get in there. And I'm gonna... No, they still have some over here. Let's just make sure we don't get flanked. Alright, they're coming in a shield wall. So what I'm gonna do is try and flank these guys. Right, here they come, so let's help them out. I think the best thing we can probably do is just get these archers into action. Oh, we already destroyed their archers. Holy crap. Let's go forward and get the rest of them. Alright, they're breaking. 
Another one breaking. That archer group is just about to break. Oh, they broke. So these guys are broken. These two need to chill out. No running because they are going to get exhausted here. So let's get them in a position. And we need to get our archers in a position to fight those archers back. Actually, let's go, shoot, let's go three and three. Again, we do want to skirmish with them because we're just going to hardly lose anybody. The guys are pretty tired. We didn't lose... Jeez, man, we, we crushed them. Absolutely crushed them. Let's get these archers over here. Although I don't think it's going to matter too much. But 6v1. Oh, he died. <laughs> he broke almost instantly. So that's it. We beat that. It wasn't a game mode because we went with our own custom options. But uh, yeah, not bad. 1,700 days. That's pretty fast. That's faster than a lot of the other ones that I've done. And this was a lot harder. We lost 38 soldiers and we killed 1,700. End game population of 624. That's not that high. I thought it was going to be higher than that. So obviously we'll we'll keep playing. I think. Yeah. I'm trying to orient myself. Okay, yeah, that takes forever, man, to send people back. That takes a really long time. All right, well, we do need to settle this area as well. I mean, we don't need to, but I, yeah, I was thinking we should. Let's get everybody home. That was such a big battle, but it was not a difficult battle at all. What did we lose? Three, four, five, six, seven. I think we, uh, seven plus, so we lost 11 people to kill 400 and something. There you go. Everybody's back home. We do need to replace a few people. As soon as this rain's done, I'm going to colonize this area. So notice this thing is not done yet. I don't know how this thing's not done yet. Oh, there it goes. I think they're finally bringing stuff. We must have taken the men and they ran out of people. This is just retinue. These are all just the regular people. I don't know what happened there. Why they haven't finished this thing is beyond me. So we need to figure out what buildings we absolutely need. Probably need water. We'll throw that down and then the church we don't have a church yet so we'll take that right, we're getting raided near nusloka just fine we can send the archers down to help and then we can pop out these where's our retinue nusloka oh crap no they're, they're going for the other one i think we can get wall brand off all right and ruth as well i doubt these guys will get there in time but we'll send them anyways yeah we need the archers to get here wait where do the archers go wall brand Get the archers out. There they go. And I will have these guys sprint. There's no way these guys get there in time. Same here. This, they're, they're not going to get there in time. Let's just have them save their breath. This guy's not going anywhere. Probably don't even need help. To be honest, these guys are super strong. This guy's not going to make it either. Just get back. Yeah, they're right on top of us. Archers may not even get there in time. So let's go ahead and push. We're going to try and get some charge damage in. Oh, that crushed their morale. Although their morale is coming back. Yeah, I don't know if those archers are going to get there in time. It's another group. Oh, they're switching targets. I think they're coming after the ranged. That's what they want to do, so be it. All right, these guys don't have enough stamina to catch. we be able to get some pretty good shots off. Oh, it's three groups. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We shredded. One of them got shredded already. We'll lose a few people here. Oh, wow. We lost a few, actually. Well, anyways, that's done. So where were we? We were making a church. We made a well. And then we just need to start spamming houses everywhere. Oh, we need money, though. Ooh, that's actually bad. Forgot about that. All right, we can make money. Did we do a hunting? Oh, this is the one place we didn't do hunting. Crap. Yeah, we were surviving off the berries. Kind of debate if I should try and do something different here, like make it look nice or just spam and try and make, get it done. And I'm leaning towards just getting it done. All right, we don't need taxes or tithes anymore. Or at least not right now. We can turn it back on later if we want to try and stack up a bunch of money. We got 14k right now. I think getting to 100k would be kind of cool. A million might be doable, but we'd have to leave it on for a long time. So here's the game plan. I don't really want to go back and forth to all the cities all at once. It's just going to drive me nuts. So I think the best course of action is just to get them set up one by one. 
except for some of these smaller ones i'll probably just have them expand i think if we can get a little bit of a population growth while still maintaining a safety net i don't want them running out of food or fuel and i think what i'll probably do for this is pick up this pace of the editing so there's going to be well, i'll be showing a lot less because this is going to take a while and i don't think it's going to be all that interesting but i think the final result will be interesting so let's try and do that so this thing hasn't sold anything in a while what's going on with that we have way too much firewood makes sense we have a lot of woodcutters all right i'm gonna let this run for a bit let's see if we can actually get this trading post working again i don't quite know what happened we should still be full trading some things yeah we are we should still be exporting tools which we are leather and charcoal that looks good and then iron slab so what else can we do here no we need to make sure this thing's actually working what the heck happened Really bizarre. Okay, so it's starting to get stuff. I think maybe it wasn't doing anything because the men were off fighting and they didn't have enough people to haul stuff around because it looks like it is going again. I just want to make sure that it, it's actually working. And you know what? I'm going to turn the tithes on here. Go up to 10. For the ones that we're working on, we'll turn it on because this thing has a massive amount of wealth. So we should be able to get up to 100k. Actually, we should probably be able to get to a million. I think, in, in a fairly reasonable amount of time now that I think about it. Assuming we can do, you know, maybe double or triple this in each region, that'd be pretty nuts. So first things first, let's pick up the pace on our housing. I gotta try and find workers somewhere, so we have a lot of people sunk. So there's nine on charcoal. So almost 17, 18. Yeah, the tannery's not even that full. Well, but we have a lot of leather still unsold, so that's probably why. The hunting camp, let's go ahead and take that down. It's such a waste of time at this point. Same thing with this forger. It is nice to have extra food type, but where are the berries? The trade screen said we have like 400 berries. This thing says we don't have any berries. Oh, I see what it is. Never mind. I read that wrong. Yeah, we have no berries. We don't really need it though either. So I'm thinking about just getting rid of this too, because it's one less thing that we have to micromanage. And it's a road that we can build houses and stuff on we've got a few people left that can help build let's get a few more of these veggie plots i think we're going to need quite a bit a little unorthodox but we could do these facing this way instead that'll give us a big veggie plot i'm just trying to make sure we don't run out of food we can just make this a big fat one there we go so a few more veggies let's get those houses built and i'm just going to tour make sure everything's looking good Oh, this place is not looking good, actually. What happened? It's because of the food. We'll have a bunch of food when it becomes summertime. Yeah, one in the granary, two in the forger hut. That should probably give us exactly what we need. Actually, we don't need a woodcutter. Oh, we need a woodcutter. We don't need a log. Yeah, this place is just going to survive. So that's more than enough. They should be fine. This place we need to build soon. Doing good. I think maybe we'll just do a checkup once a year. So this place is less than a year worth of supplies. So what's going on here? They have only eggs. They have a lot of hunting. Oh, wow. Quite a few people that are unassigned. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh, no. This place is good for farming, actually. So we could throw up a farm real quick. It's going to be growing season soon. Let's try and make these two more and wide. There we go. So we got three of them. I don't know if we can get away with it two years in a row, but what else is decent here? Barley's actually not terrible. I just know, don't know if it's worth it doing it. I mean, I don't want to micromanage them actually, so it's probably worth doing it. So let's have barley come after the wheat. So one farmhouse, one windmill. All right, so that should be it for that. And actually, I put stuff on this prairie farm, didn't I? Yep, let's just demolish this thing. Yeah, waste of time and space at this point anyways. I mean, it was fine earlier, but now it's not. So we have 11 people. We got eight for the farmhouse, one for the windmill. That's all, so we need a few more. Oh, the stone camp. Yeah, we don't have anybody working stone anymore. So there's another four. We have 15 people. That's way more than enough. Sweet. So we'll make that work. We'll probably just sell the barley directly or make malt and sell it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, this place should be good. All that stuff's built. We need to reorganize. Just make sure we assign people to what they need to do. And just to confirm, yeah, this place is starting to make good money now. Okay, we're going veggie farm, spare family, 
on both of these. These ones just veggie farm. I think we've got enough eggs. We do need to catch up on the veggies. We have a lot of veggies now, but we're going to eat through that pretty fast. Nice. Farmhouse is done. I think. Yeah, farmhouse is done. Let's get people on it. So they can go. It's It just turned the right season, so they're going to go out and work it. Yeah, we'll worry about all this stuff later. We still have seven people building. We'll put that out the windmill. But yeah, we can't do anything with that stuff anyways for quite a while. Now, the other thing we should probably start working on is this place. Let's at least get the basics set up. This looks like it's another farm area. Man, these farm areas. There's so many in this one. Usually it's it's not that many. I think we've had three or four of them. We're going to go for the big one. So that's the 750. Yeah, that's... You know what? I've never tried this. I think the only difference is this just keeps people from starving. I don't think it makes any other difference. So my guess is you would probably want to do this in winter time, Or if you can't get the houses up in time for winter. That would be my guess. Man, that's a lot of land to be plowing. We don't even have the plow station. That does make a pretty big difference. These guys got to do it all by hand. But we've got nothing else better for them to do anyway. So and we'll upgrade these. Yeah, I think we just leave it at that. And uh, we're still waiting for people to move in here. Just a couple. So what I'm going to do, we need one for the windmill at least. We'll do one for each of the communal ovens. One for the granary. Oh, we can't do those yet. We'll do those later, but yeah, one for each of these so they can distribute. Actually, no, these guys will distribute. So we probably don't need these. We can probably just do three in the ovens. And that should probably do it. I can't tell if we could potentially make more money doing more iron work. Because we could double the size of the mining pit. We just do two side by side. Technically, we could triple it. But I don't think we could handle the outputs. The other thing we could do is we could upgrade some of these guys and they could manufacture a lot of the weapons and armor. And then we could in turn sell that stuff. That would be a huge amount of money. One thing I would like to do is get some of this stuff set up for... So we got Emmer. Ooh, boy. This land sucks. It's good for barley, but not really the other stuff. So each of these are two Morgan. Flax is not really going to be a thing. Well, you know what? Yeah, it kind of will. Emmer is only going to really be working on that one. It's fine. Yeah, we just got to deal with it. We'll get a farmhouse over here. Probably needs to go right here. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put them like this. I, I kind of want to get two. Just make them face each other because there's some decent land up there. I think we'll be able to double up on this. Wheat, barley, fallow. We're going to go fallow. Wheat, barley. All right, how'd this farmland turn out? They're still seeding it? Holy crap, they're still seeding it. Ooh, Selvitz. That's the new one. Okay, so I actually forgot about this place. Right, they should be fine. We got woodcutters and food going. Yeah, we don't think we need to pay much attention here. The other thing I do want to get... Man, we need deep mining and we need the heavy plow. So we got to do some upgrading here, but we can't really do it until... Yeah, these people need some stuff. We're going to be making beer and we'll be making bread. So we'll have two types of food. That'll help with that. I'm actually going to pull a lot of people off. Let's get them off of a few of these things. I want to get as many people on this farm as we can. Man, that's a lot. Yeah, we need to get that thing for sure. What I could probably do is give up barley for one of these. No, no, I don't think so, actually. We'll just do another one. We'll do another farm somewhere else. We need to get a pretty big expansion of population, though, to be able to do that. We need to find out where wheat and flax. It doesn't have to be as big. Of course, it's right where we built. There's a little bit back here, but it's a lot of yellow. There's a little bit over here, too. Looks like most of it's down here. We can make a farm in here, though. We can make a run of it right here. All right, well, while that's going, I'm thinking it might make sense to start plotting some of this stuff out. So this is seeded. Oh, wow, that's seeded already, too. All right, these trees are kind of getting in the way, but I'm wondering if we can just build something and then delete it. See if that works. All right, now, how does that look? Their windmill needs passage. Yep, 99%. Oh, 100%. Nice. Well, best we can get right here is 99, which is fine. And of course, we can do our malt. So we'll need a malt house it's on this side, and we could do the ovens on this other side. You know, we can rearrange it later. I'm trying to make as many in here as I can. I don't know how many we're going to need, though. Just throw these two down. It's fine. Yeah, this place is rocking and rolling on its own. Oh, that reminds me. We need to make a hitching post. 
Yeah, let's put that in the corner. We're going to need two ox, and then both of these are going to use it. You know, I want to clear the trees. I can't really see it. Can I just do this? Sure can. <laughs> well, that works. Okay, now I can hopefully see. Yeah, so I can outline this somewhat decently. All right, I need to write that tip down before I forget. This area doesn't need to be quite as big. Again, maybe we could just do like one Morgan each. There we go. Just these three should be fine. So this one's going to be Wheat Flax Fellow. There we go. And what I'm going to do is set these people to go farm that again by themselves. They should be able to get there in time. And eventually I'll build a couple farmhouses over here. And I'm probably just going to have maybe half full or quarter full. But we'll have them use the animals, the plows. So why don't we start working on that. And then this one is going to be Weaver's Workshop. And then we'll just probably transfer the wheat back up to the other area. So we don't have to deal with it down here. I don't want to have to have redundant workshops. They took care of that real fast. I might end up redoing this. This seems like it might be a waste. Maybe it's too small. Get more people move in, so this is good. Well, actually, maybe not. 43, we got room for three more. Oh, it's the approval. The approval is going down. Well, taxation, yeah, we can just turn that down. We're off. It's fine. We can just blast it later. Oh, yeah, we taxed the crap out of these guys. They were at 14, 15k before. Now they're like at nothing. Why is this guy not doing anything? Right, let's make sure that our trading post has max. I don't know why he's not selling much, but I think it's because he doesn't have enough people in there. This guy wants to be a stall owner, but then he doesn't want to do his actual job. So I'm going to reassign him. You can do something like at the, the granary, maybe? There we go. So now we have all four people working there. Hopefully that helps. And with the taxation down, we should be getting people coming back in now. All right, these guys are doing squat diddly. Let's cut them loose. We need the hitching post there. We gotta upgrade this one and start ordering the animals. Actually, we can order it from any of them, I think. They just go to where they're supposed to be. You know what? We do need clothes. Oh, you know what? Our eggs are kind of dipping down a little. It's alright. The next set of houses we make, we can do that. So I think at this point, we're just kind of biding our time. We can probably go build another area, or... No, we should... I'm, I'm just gonna focus on this area. Yeah, I don't want to take my eyes off of it. October, November, these... Wait, what happened? Didn't they just do this? I think we just wasted our time. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. So I have a feeling... Yep, they're gonna plow it again. So we didn't get any harvest out of that. Total waste of time. Now this one... Oh no, it didn't. No, it's not going. I think they killed it. They killed this one too. Yeah, because we had just planted it in here and now it's... Uh, it's pretty frustrating. Well, the other thing we can do is we could just import. Because if we get these perks, that'll help a lot. I would say it probably makes the most sense to have one plow for each thing that you're trying to do. So if you have four per year and you want to have four, four things, oh, I don't know, maybe. I mean, that'll get it done fast, but maybe it doesn't need to be done that fast. Well, hopefully we get it seeded before winter. We're in the last month. Yeah, our eggs are running out. Shoot. The veggies are coming in strong, though. Man, look at how much veggies. I guess the big difference, though, you gotta have people working it so it's not passive. The eggs and the goats, these things just pop out on their own. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't finish seeding. Alright, this loja is getting raided. Don't do too much about it. I don't think we'll have much problem here. We might lose a couple people, but we'll definitely not lose the battle. Oh, three down, four down. <laughs> No losses. So they got some good XP out of that. And we got a ton of influence for it. We can't do anything in the winter time when it comes to farming. So let's pull everybody out. We'll stock up on all this stuff. We need to make a lot of housing. And we need to make a lot of eggs. How big can we make this? Can we make it one? All right, we'll go to right where the curve starts because it makes it a little funky. There's something like that makes sense. And we can still get four. There we go. So we got a massive row with another 14 families. We're just going to keep stacking them on. And you know what I am going to do? I'm going to import clothes and I'm going to import ale. I'm going to set it up as full trade though. That means we will need a tavern or two. Let's get a tavern set up. So the next one we do need 
one upgrade. So that's another level two. That's fine. And then we need three level threes. So we just need three people on the tier two to be happy. Which we obviously won't do until we get beer and some other stuff. Beer in the clothes. So that's all these done. Let's go ahead and... Oh, what the heck? Alright, it said that it would fit one of these things, but it did not. It lied. No problem. Let's get the chicken eggs going. And actually what I'm going to do, we're going to do full trade. We'll make sure it stays at 50. I'm going to pull this up to 50 as well. And then same thing with the ale. And then for the foods, let's go ahead and let's full trade the veggies at say 400. We'll full trade the eggs. How about this? 250 of each. We'll trade bread, 250. And then if we ever end up getting more than that, just deal with it. Yeah, if we get more than that, then they'll, we'll end up selling it off. Actually, that's not a bad idea. But we'll establish trade routes for each of these, just so we're not waiting around forever. We are a premium buyer. We don't wait. Yeah, all this stuff is fine. There we go. So that'll ensure that our food stays stable. What I want to do is get the approval rating high enough so that we're getting like two or more families per month. All right, tavern's done. Let's get that fully stocked. Do we have beer? Yep, we do. We got or ale. We got ale. Clothing is okay. Yeah, it's these ones right here in the middle that need to be happy. So if they need another food source. Nope, they got it. All right, sweet. So we can upgrade these to level three. Uh, it's the food stall. That's the problem. All right, I did leave a little bit of room so we can get another market back here. So there's two stalls. Perfect food and clothing. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So we should be able to get a little more variety in there. We need any of these to pop. But this one can go. So that'll be enough. And once that's done, we can... Oh, you know what? We get another... We have room for one more ox. Let's take it. And as soon as that's done, we'll take the plow. In the previous episode, we battled for the last territory, and we started working on the final challenge build. Did these guys actually make something? They did get barley. We don't have anybody in the malt. We don't have anybody in the malt house. Yeah, we don't really want anybody in the malt house either. I think we just sell the barley straight up. Yeah, that's fine. If we turn it into malt, it'll double in price, but we're kind of short on labor. So I'd rather just sell. Yeah, look at this. We're getting so much stuff here. So there's another one. Let's get this thing done ASAP. Yeah, it's time to it's time to plow. We need all these to go. Oh, I forgot. Ah, uh, shoot. We have room for two more ox. Oxen. Yeah, as soon as we can, we need to do that. Okay, perfect. Now, advanced, we need to reserve the ox. We'll do that. I'm going to put two down here. I'm going to put three up here in each of these. And we'll see if that makes a difference. So we'll reserve the ox. Yeah, we need to order two more. What are they doing? Yeah, looks like the ox are out there. Oxen. There we go. So the imports are working pretty well. We're still short food for these level three burgage plots. I guess we could import some food if we really wanted to to solve that problem, but I don't know that it's that important. All right, they're sowing the seed now. March, April. This is the same thing that happened last time. We started in March, and then it just wasted the whole thing. So hopefully the same thing doesn't happen. Oh, wow, this one was fast. Well, this one's half the size, so maybe that's why. You know, I'm thinking about switching these guys to something else. I'm sure we could sell the byproduct, whatever they're making. And then we could really ramp up the income in this place. Yeah, let's upgrade a few more of these things. We need three. Oh, we need ten. Burgage plot level three. Yikes. We're probably going to have to import some if tiles at some point. I'm just going to put this at import. And we'll set this at something like maybe 40. I think it's four tiles per upgrade. So that would let us do ten at a time without having to wait. This is our egg income, actually. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think what we'll probably do is just convert these things over. If we're short anything, we can import the byproduct. I don't even know what you call that, the underlying product or something? Wait, what do we have? Oh, we have a ton of food because we need to get people in this granary to haul stuff out. All right, these are seated. Yeah, they're seated. Down here is seated as well. I'm going to leave a few people in there still. I feel like we're getting ready for another big expansion project as soon as we get these done. I really need to get one more level so we can get the deep mine. And if we get two more levels, we could technically do the helmets just to sell them. 
would be one more product that we could sell. But we got Raiders. Raiders and Hofstede. Alright, no big deal. Get these guys out. Nice. So we'll smash them. Uh, do need to get a few things done here, actually. Now that we have time to uh, goof off a little bit. Let's get our manor house built. Let's get the saw pit going. Well, how many are here? Is that just the one? We're pretty outnumbered now, but... I mean, we're still going to win it. It's just how many are we going to lose? Yeah, we lost a few. We just need to get... Oh, man, this place has 500 berries. <laughs> okay, the granary's full. That makes sense. We've got 110 months supply of food, so obviously that's probably enough for a while. We'll come back and check on the planks in a little bit. And we did get all these level 2s up to level 3. Yeah, that's 10. That'll take us... If we can get all these done, that'll take us up to max. Or medium town. We still need one more for, for the highest. Oh, nice. We had a drought. <laughs> oh, man. We can't win them. We can't win. Just getting screwed left and right. Oh, this thing's making bread. Not very much. Oh, we maxed out our leather. What the heck? Is it not selling? But there's somebody here to buy it, but apparently we're just making so much leather they it's outpacing it. We have 1100. Alright, our saw pit is full, so we should probably get... Yep, there we go. We can do our manor house. And the extension. Why not? That'll give us our last unit. So we'll have a full army. That'll be the true max. The last one, we were just short one. But now that we're maxed, we can't do anything with it because there's nothing to fight, so... We got another level of our settlement. We're going to take deep mining, and if we level up again, it'll probably be something here that we can sell, like the armor. Oh, perfect timing too. This iron pit is pretty much toast. We're going to need a lot more workers though if we're going to pull this off. Oh crap. What happened? That it's why I'll run out of food. Right, I don't know what happened, but we're going to import food then. That's going to be the case. I think we, we were relying pretty heavily on berries and we haven't collected berries here in a long time. So that's my guess. We can get some berries too in the short term. Okay, that's fine. We'll deal with it later. Good thing we got the notice. Okay, families, we got 50, 58 out of 70. So we still have plenty of room for people to move in. So we'll hold off on building more places to stay. Oh crap, we need more ox. Keep forgetting. All right, they're harvesting early for some reason. September, October, November, December. Yeah, I guess they got to get ready for the next season. Just put a lot more people on these fields. All right, this thing is exhausted, which is good. We can rebuild it and we'll do it more efficiently. And then we'll use that to just explode. We're going to have so much money coming in through this place. But we are importing a lot, but we are just killing it with money. We got another retinue. Let's get these guys taken care of before I forget. There we go. So we are officially maxed. This is literally the biggest army you can get. Aside from having a bunch of mercenaries as well. So it's a pretty healthy army. Looking back on it now, I would definitely not do Spear Militia. I would just do all archers. Front line would be retinue. And then whatever mercenaries we can hire and hang on to. We would probably do that. Some glitches. It looks like harvesting season ended. Okay, so it ends in October. It's October. So that's the harvesting. And then you do plowing and sowing October, November then. Makes sense. We'll demolish this. And I'm going to clear this forest because it's kind of hard to see anything. Yeah, we're not using any of the stuff over here. We're not using any wood cutting over here anyways. I'm going to use my newly found technique. Oh, we can't do it on the actual thing. But we can clear around it. There we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Clear it out. So with the mines, we should... Oh, no. Don't tell me. Oh, okay. There it goes. Looks like we can actually fit four. I thought it was only three. Turns out you can fit four. Do we want the other level? Yeah, I think we do. It doesn't really cost us that much. We can get extra families packed in tightly in here. We have to upgrade a lot of people though. Oh, shit, and running out of food. How's that? Oh, it's this one. All right, different one then. That's fine. We just got to move people to berries. Nice. So we can't actually upgrade this. <laughs> we get a mass migration of farmers and it scared all the animals out. They came flying out of there. So what I'm thinking about doing is throwing... Let's throw up a couple of these. There, we had quite a bit of stuff here. Food and all that. I think maybe we need to set ourselves a limit. Well, yeah, we're doing full trade already. So we should be able to sell some of it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing full trade with meat as well. 
a, a, a bunch of different types of food. That way we can keep everybody happy. It's winter time, looks like the crops survived this time. So if, yeah, if you let it just kind of do its thing, for whatever reason they survive. I think it's because it has to do with the automatic rotation. So it seems like there's a period or a point where it... Oh, you know what it is? I think I know what it is. It's October. So October, as soon as they turn off harvesting season, and you're only doing plowing and sowing, what it does is it turns this into fallow. Let's say we were sitting right here right now, sowing progress, and then crop growth was only at 16%. It would have switched it to fallow, and that would have killed everything off. I think that's what it is. If you don't plant in time to have it grow before October, then I, I guess it's GG for those crops. Let's pull these people back. We'll leave one person in. We're going to need a lot more planks. Let's go ahead and boost that up. because We need to get these guys maxed out. They need 10 planks. There's another one. There we go. So we got all four of them upgraded. That took a while. It's because there's the ox are doing so many things. I don't know what they're doing, actually. We're not building anything. Where are they taking these? There must be logs all over the place that they're grabbing. Yeah, it seems like that's what, they, what they're doing. There we go. Deep mine is done. Yeah, three, four. We could fit a lot of people in here. 16. There's a couple storehouses here. I would like to upgrade both of these, actually. All right, to get to large town, we need... 10 level 2, 15, 15 level 3s. I, I don't mind it because we're going to get the extra population anyways. We're starting to run out of space for people to move into. Let's just get everything that's around market. Got a market there, got a market there. I don't want to disturb these burgage plots though. Yeah, I don't mind the goats though. We'll probably replace these, I think. Now we're out. We need to get more timber. Do we have somebody? Yeah, we do. February. We're almost ready to, to go into growing season again. There we go. We're gonna put the last one. We need to we need to kick it into gear, man. Maybe we should make another another thing for wood. Ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. Oh yeah, what we should be doing. We need to have some people building. We should have some people mining since there's nothing else going on. And then soon in March we'll pull them off. We gotta get them back to work on the farms. Being attacked again. Yminruth, that's in the bottom right. Not sure which way they're coming from. They must be in the woods. They're there. There's four of them. They're gonna come right for us though. Oh wow, that's a lot. These guys are gonna take losses for sure, but... Oh wow, they only took one. A single loss. That's pretty wild. Okay, that's done. Uh, shoot, we're capped. We need to increase this. Yeah, we need a lot of planks, but we're not able to build the planks. This guy not able to use the ox? No, there's an ox right there. What are they doing? Transporting an ox. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Like, they're getting planks, I guess. Right, it is time. Let's pull everybody off. Actually, now that I think about it, there's nothing they can do. We're just waiting for the crops to grow. So we really... Yeah, if you think about it, you really only need it for that one season. You just need it for autumn. Right, I think we got rid of all the barley. Yep, we did. So it's all into malt. You know what I'm gonna do is, let's turn on trading for planks. Oh, we're exporting. No, no, we have a minimum of 100 though. All right, full trade. Let's just turn it on. Let's get up to like 40. We'll just keep it there for all of eternity. We're really going slow right now because of it. We can spam a bunch of this iron ore right now since waiting for stuff to happen. And actually, we should. Anything we're trading. No, we're already doing that. What are, what are blocks for? I bet you this is going to be something later in the game for, like, building stone walls and castles. Right, I'm going to start upgrading these guys as we get planks. Why are they leaving? One of our families got really pissed off. Oh, unburied bodies. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, you definitely don't get a warning for that. Hopefully they come back after we get rid of the bodies. Oh, another family left. <laughs> they do not like the bodies. That's a pretty serious problem. There's no more bodies, so I think that should be it. Oh, another family left. Are you kidding me? We're going to lose it? We're going to lose this. We need the next month to take over, so it's not hitting us so hard still. Do we have bodies anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. We got more people joining Goldhoff. That's good. And down here... Okay, good. So we're not... 
like completely negative anymore. And there's no more bodies. Yeah, not much we can do about it. We need a month or two for approval to clear back up to around 50. And then maybe we'll put a church in so they don't go to zero. Uh, one thing we could do, let's start spamming these bloomery. So we've got 15 level 3 burgage plots. We need a few more level 2. Are these people looking? A lot of happy people. You know, I'm going to turn these guys off. The, the permanent plot worker. I don't, I don't want to reserve. Oh, we still have a lot of people here. I don't want to reserve the animals for these. Because we have so many of them. I want those animals to be able to move stuff around when we're building. Two more of these upgraded and we'll have it. Oh, and you know, we are capped. Shoot, I should have been building so we can get the population growing. We need to do that before harvesting season. Yeah, we got plenty of time actually. June. We also need to replace some of the stuff that we're losing up here. Or we're going to lose. Now it looks like this hill is a bit too steep, so let's build up to that point. Oh, we don't have the goods. Yeah, we need more timber. Yeah, you know what I might do is I might make another. So Goldhoff, we got max level here. We can already make bread, so making bread more efficiently doesn't help us too much because we're going to have an infinite labor pool, just about. So I'm going to go basic armor making. Normally I wouldn't recommend this because you can just trade for it, but in this case we'll, we'll end up selling it. It'll be another trade good that we can sell. Let's order another ox. How are we doing on our slabs? We should be spamming these things, but I'd like to get some of these houses before it's time to harvest. There you go, we can get six of them. Pack it in tight. I think having it at the logging camp is actually going to be pretty good. Let's, let's do it because we're going to be burning through our timber. I keep wanting to call it hardwood, but that's so July, August. We get to September, so about a month, month and a half. Now, most of these, what are these? A lot of these are goats, or literally all of them. No, there's a few chickens. So that would slow down our hide production. We don't want that. So I'll put a few goats in. There you go, so that's five new goats. And I'm actually going to just spam hitching posts. There's no reason not to at this point. I just want to make sure that these guys have enough to use. And it's time for the farm. And we should probably actually reserve... Yeah, we should probably keep these reserved. It'd be easier to just hire more. Buy more oxen. And just have them scattered around. All right, how are we looking down here? This place stabilized, but they're not happy still. I think we can make a church. Yeah, we can make a church here. That should make people a little happier. You know, I also need a tanner. And then we could also give these guys a marketplace. We'll do two goats. We'll do three chicken. Just because I know we'll be replacing some of the chicken as well. So it should be good. 156 iron slabs. Yeah, we're starting to stack them up. Remember we had the iron slabs set to export down to 50. Yep. We'll probably back that off once we switch some of these. Actually, why don't we do that right now? So no more goats. Let's switch this to... Yeah, here we go. So we can go sidearms, spears, or helmets. I don't think we want to do these other ones just yet anyways. We could probably do them at some point. The war bows we could sell as, as well. Let's go blacksmith. We'll do it slowly. I don't want to do this too fast because we do need... Yeah, I don't want to sell out of the stuff that we've got. There we go. Church is done. That should be making people a lot happier. So this one uses two iron slabs. These all use planks and we're already making tools. I feel like we are going to have a surplus of slabs before we have a surplus of planks. Although that's not necessarily true. We do have a lot of planks too. That's fine. We'll just make sidearm. We'll have to open up a trade route for that. All right, harvesting season. We got to pull everybody off. And I'm, I'm actually going to disable the trade for the iron slabs. We can turn it back on later, but let's, yeah, let's stockpile a little bit. Yeah, crop growth's at 100%. We have quite a bit of tools already, so let's pull these guys back. Yeah, let's just pull everybody out. Uh, what, one thing I was thinking about is I'm thinking if you don't have the roads, I bet you these guys can't offload their materials. Like if you look at all these eggs, they're just stockpiling. They can't get to them. Maybe we need to have more people in the granary. Let's see if that helps. Maybe they send more people out. Let's see where they go. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. They're going to gather stuff. So they went here, off Stetten, this place, running out of fuel. There they go, they should be fine now. Okay, how is the harvest looking? Looking pretty good. All right, what's going on here? Are these guys all the way up there? They are. Field priority should be medium. Yeah, it's the same for both. So they're all going to rush down there next. 
That's my guess. Yep. They must have been up here when we switched them, and then they just go for the closest target. They're going to swarm the area like locusts, and we need to get to this wheat. Raiders. Well, oh, they're raiding our homeland. We'll be one again. It's fine. We'll take them. Oh, we took losses. Yeah, we took some pretty heavy losses there. Six. It's because they were all bunched up all at once. Yeah, we are going to have a lot of bodies. So let's throw one on the church for the friendlies. We gotta have a corpse pit. We'll just build it out here with the charcoal. So they're gonna go out and plow. Yep, they just got done finishing it up. So now what did we get that season? We got 176 wheat, 121 flax, 108 barley. That seems kind of light for the wheat. They're gonna go plow. Plow by hand. Why would they plow by hand? Don't we have we have only four fields and we have one farmhouse with a dedicated animal for each so that shouldn't be a problem all right winter is approaching we need to get these fields plowed and seeded right, people are seeding these two down here it looks like yep here come the locusts descend upon your fields that's just about done and then these ones should be done soon yeah that seems to work out pretty well it's not quite what i thought they would do i thought these guys would work here the, the others would work down there but they just kind of swarm together so maybe it's better just to have like a central location where the far, all your farm people are. Because it's not possible to have your farm lands all in one area. Just based on the fertility. Alright, we need to get this thing seeded ASAP. It's November. We won't be able to do it next month. So this is seeded. This is plowed. Yeah, sweet. Get over there and seed. Alright, come on people. There they go. Yep, that one's fully seeded. And they're cutting it close. It's going to get winter time very soon. Yeah, I wasn't fully sewn. That's pretty close though, 80%. We needed just a little bit more. 83 is where they're stopping. Well, that sucks. You know what? It's probably not that big of a deal. I wonder if they can finish it in the spring. So we can pull everybody off the winter. Let's deal with the wheat and the malt. And I don't think I set up a trade for the malt. Nope, so we're gonna leave that because we want to have plenty. Forgot I had a bunch of people in the church. Let's put some people in the weaver. Uh, we're captain. Housing too, we need to keep forgetting. We gotta build more. We can expand back here. Big line. <laughs> We're just gonna have a massive block. It's fine by me. Seems like the biggest complaint for these people is they need extra food. They're not getting the different food types. Eggs, bread, carrots. This one's got all the stuff. Meat and everything. And then this one as well. Carrots. Yeah, it probably would have been smart to have another market. Actually, I think I left space for it. That's room for a single stall. Now, if I destroyed both of these, which I probably should, let's just, just demolish. If I rebuilt this as one whole thing, we would get a lot more. Unfortunately, we can't until these the supplies are gone. But hopefully somebody comes and picks it up. Yeah, people aren't too happy, but what can you do? We need more market stalls. It's not that big of a deal for most people. It's just these Burgage Plat 3s that really need it. All right, they don't seem to be picking stuff up. It's probably because we need more warehouse workers. And back off of the granary. Wow, we already burned through all the wheat and flax and everything. So malt house. Okay, we got no more wheat. I got you. It's being turned into that. And then the grain needs to be cooked. So yeah, we still need the guys there. All right, here we go. So it's cleared. Let's see how many market stalls we get this time. Wait, is it? No, oh, there's still cloaks. You know, it would probably be a smart way to do it. I bet you having a granary and have it restricted, you have it in the, the fancy areas, you could separate out the food types. Or what would make even more sense is to have a granary in a bad neighborhood and just don't let them have certain types of food. The stuff that you're making in, in abundance, you can let them use. But the stuff that you're importing, you probably restrict that. And then the workshops, they would be closer to that. Somebody needs to come pick up these clothes so we can build a market. Somebody's got to come get it. There we go. Some lady just picked up one by herself. All right, they got it. Finally. Finally, they got it. We can get six stalls right here by doing that. That's good. So we had three and one, so we pick up an extra two by doing it as one big chunk. Let's back off the warehouse workers. 134 malts, so we could probably switch one of these guys over. Okay, how are you doing? Still making swords, that's good. Switch this guy over to a brewery. Why don't we do that? We won't be making money from that, but we'll be spending less, which is basically the same, because the import-export's the same cost. 
Celebates is running out of food. What are we doing down here? Did we get some of our people back? No, they're still not happy. There's still a little lingering from the unburied bodies, it looks like. It's time to grow, Let's see what these people are doing. So they're not triggering to go do anything out here. Oh, they're, uh, they're plowing. Somebody's plowing. Yeah, these are still growing. This one's getting plowed. This one's getting plowed. Oh, man. Did we not get anything from these? It doesn't really benefit you to have big plots like this. Because I could easily split this up into six smaller plots. And it's a lot safer. Make them even smaller. You don't lose any efficiency like this line. They pretty much... I should probably do that. I should map it out. Do like one big plot. And then remap it again with the smaller plot. And see how many Morgan. We gotta plant this stuff very quickly. Yeah. Shoot. Should have done it right away. That's one of the problems with having the big field. Is you get that one ox that takes a really long time. And then nobody can seed. But if you have a bunch of little ones. They can get through it. People can come through and seed it really quickly. They have to wait. They can't touch it until it's done. Okay, that one's done. This one's almost done. How are we looking down here? It's not harvesting. Yeah, so these aren't going to get touched until then. We get a lot of iron, so we should probably be converting that. Do we have any weapons? Oh, sidearms. Why are you not selling those? I must have put it on accident then. So we'll sell all those, right? Yeah, we don't have any wheat. We don't have any grains. So we should be getting rid of these people. Cut them loose so they can go do something useful. We probably need another trade house. How are we looking here? These should be ready by harvesting season. If I'm just going for a plot this size, I'll just keep all the farming here. If I'm going to just spread it out all over, I would probably pick a central location to house the, the work area. Because it's not too hard. You just zoom out and look and see where you're going to lay stuff out. So flax, barley, and emmer would be up here. This area is not that bad, actually. It's not so good for emmer, but it doesn't actually seem that bad. 43. So what I'm going to do then is build another trade post and a hitching post. Which I forgot to look. How are these people now? Are they happier? Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are able to get their supplies now. We get a bunch of these things that yeah, we have too much charcoal. We're going to be using more charcoal as we go though, so I think it'll even out eventually. Let's stick these tools up a little higher. Yeah, we're not able to export the sidearms for some reason. Right, let's see what these guys take. What are you loading up? Nice, so they're buying a bunch of stuff. Now I'm curious why this trading post is connected, but this one is not. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. Still no swords. Are they just not collecting it? No, it's not in the house. They're in the storage house. You know what it is, is they're getting flooded with all these little demands to even stuff out. Yeah, they're getting spammed with a bunch of stuff. They're not able to spend time getting the swords. Still no swords. I might have to build a third. Yeah, they're still just buying stuff. What the heck are you doing, man? Go get the swords. Right now. Unfortunately, we're going to need a lot of burial space for this. Oh, shoot. They were already on us. Let's go ahead and get a burial spot ready. We're going to be making a lot of bodies here. They're going to be complaining about dead bodies here pretty soon. So we'll just get them ready to go. Oh, nice. This place has their families back. Looks like we turned it around. Alright, did we get rid of the swords? No, we're making even more swords. Oh, no, it's still there. Yep. Is there a way to limit what this place can have? See, that would be the way to go. I wish they had that. Another horse. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. We can't limit what this guy trades. I would love to be able to enable and disable certain items. I can't really understand why these guys aren't grabbing that. I'm going to clear this out and see if maybe these guys can take over some of the stalls. They need to focus on only their job. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, no stalls. No stalls. That's good. We're starting to cap out again. These guys are able to get all their eggs out. It looks like they are. What about these guys down here? They're not stacking up, actually. Sweet. So they are able to get stuff out. We're doing okay on eggs. We could probably use a little bit more leather. It looks like. 216 swords. Still doesn't want to sell swords. Like, what the hell are you doing, dude? This is frustrating, actually. They're right next to it. And it would be an efficient trade because they could carry a bunch all in one cart. What if we turn off the food trades? I feel like maybe their those trades are gunking it up. So let's go no trade on the foods just for a minute. See what happens. Alright, they're grabbing tools. 
the harvesting season, we gotta go. These bloomeries are still gonna work. Actually, we need to keep somebody in one of these mines. So we're full on farmers. We do need to expand our population again, though. Yeah, these guys, like, refuse to trade these swords. Absolutely refuse. What if we do full trade and leave it at zero? The other thing we could do is just build, like, a massive amount of trade posts. Let's export charcoal because we have way too much of it still. Let's just turn everything off. You know, I bet you because we have so many trades active, it probably limits how many traders can come by. Alright, please tell me you're going to get some freaking swords. Wait, what just happened? We harvested. Did we not even harvest this? Where did it go? Yeah, there's like nothing. There's like nothing left. But what about down here? This place is still going. Yeah, smaller fields for sure. That's the way to go. There, so it's not quite the same shape, but it supposedly is the same. Yeah, you can see the outline of the other field right here. The other one was 246. This should be 1 times 6. Yeah, so that one was 2 times 3. This is 1 times 6. Let's turn everything on crop rotation. So barley, wheat, fallow, and I'll fallow, barley, wheat, wheat, fallow, barley. Okay, so that should be the fields. October, here we go. So they should be going out. Plowing, yep, there they go. How are we doing on the sidearms? Still not selling them. What the actual hell are you doing? So this one says it's disconnected. Unless, did we create that? No, 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 this is this is the actual road that they make. Oh, there he goes. He just took swords. Yeah, this guy's finally grabbing swords for some reason. This guy's grabbing them too. All right, how did we do? October, November, we still have planting season. So this one is sown, this one is sown. This one is not quite done yet. Yeah, these two are not sown. They probably ran down here to sow these. And now they're gonna have to run all the way back. 100, so we probably just sold a bunch of swords. Oh, there we go. Now they're getting the swords in. Okay, so we should be able to turn back on our trading. That would be pretty annoying if we have to micromanage our trades, but it is what it is. Yeah, I think we'll leave the food off for now. I'm gonna do another trade post, actually. We're gonna have a lot of people working here. We are expanding our population pretty nasty. So what do we got? We got a bunch of iron slabs. Our iron ore is actually in a pretty steady state. Let's maybe get one more. 106. Let's get another row of tenement. We have a little bit of grain. We didn't really get that much from this one. A tiny bit of barley. So I guess we'll process all that, but that's kind of a shame. Yeah, we had a wasted season. Okay, how are we looking on sidearms? 176, so it's down from 250. It was almost 300, actually. I'm going to turn on meat again, just because we're going to have eggs, veggies. We need one other food source. Bread is okay, actually, but we don't have it completely done yet. We also don't have enough iron ore. We could transfer them over, technically, but I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to micromanage it. We're going to have a bunch of people moving in soon anyways. We'll have a, a big labor force. We're at 350. We've got high population growth. People are happy. They love living in the slums. 150 sidearms are going down finally. This is good. So we can probably add something else. Oh, we still have some flax. Let's burn through that real quick. The charcoal is clogging up this trade. These other trade posts are okay, although, yeah, the leather's starting to clog this one up. We're getting a lot of people move in now, so why don't we pick up the pace on something? We already have a lot of leather, though, don't we? 227 leather. We can't even sell it off. So do we just keep spamming trade? Like if we keep doing trade posts, would that even work? Now 441 charcoal, this thing is max. Can't even use that one. So what I would probably do is just abandon that one until it's empty. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. We can just build a bunch of trade posts. And if one gets full with materials, you just move those people out and then people will come by and buy the stuff. And eventually it'll go to zero. We could also get rid of the horses that he's using. This guy can be using them. These upgraded. Get another trade post completely full, and I don't care that they're not connected to the road because we have the we have special trade routes, so it's not a big deal. So we're getting raided in Nusselhof. Why do you call it Nus Nusselhof? Nusselhofa. Right, that's fine. They're gonna keep smashing into them, no problem. I'm gonna hire a livestock trader because it's kind of a pain to have to keep doing this. I've got to like manually watch. I'd rather just order the horses here and let him drop them off when he can. Well, we didn't lose anybody yet. That's pretty wild. Okay, dead bodies. We gotta pick them up. 
Let's see how that looks. It's still capped out. Let's see what these guys are gonna grab. Yeah, these other ones are like empty. They can't keep up with it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we need eight horses in total. That should be good. Every one of these should have horses assigned to them. Yeah, we should be able to limit what gets traded in each individual stall. Because it's actually really bad that you get stuffed. Like, one thing gets completely stuffed. I'd rather have this guy only focus on maybe two or three things. This one focus on a couple things. You know what I mean? That's actually really bad that they don't have that. I have a feeling what's happening is they're probably sending a trader here yep, to pick up the swords. Like this guy, if he can only put two or three in there, he's only going to pick up two or three. But then if they went here, they'd be able to sell 79. But not the whole thing, but whatever the guy can carry, 40. So instead, they're sending a trader to pick off one at a time, just getting these little ones. So having multiple trading posts, it's not as helpful as, as it might seem. So I did see them sell something in here. Interesting. I think they bought stuff, actually. Let's just watch this sidearm guy and see where he goes. So here he comes. He's going to go to the closest. Yep. So whatever he had in stock, he's just going to buy that and be done. Yeah, let's see what happens. If we zero this out, they'll probably start trading here. Which means we'd have to zero everybody out. And then eventually go back to this one. Alright, there's the swords. So the swords are gone. These people don't need to be on body duty anymore. Let's get them out of here. So this thing is filling up on leather. Why is that? Are we importing? Yeah, we're doing full trade. Let's do export only. So there's a bunch of traders that just showed up and just left. They didn't do anything. All right, there. Somebody bought some leather. Oh, look, our fields are, are looking healthy, at least. That's good. So the smaller plot made a big difference. And I bet you if we went even smaller, it'd be better. Oh, we have five trading posts. Whoops. So we need 10 horses. So I'm trying to see if people are going to the other ones, if they just... We're going to this close trade. Hofstetten is running out of food again. We went too hard on the woodcutter's lodge. Whoops. So we've got 121 out of 136. So we still have room. We can have more people. I have a feeling we're starting to run low on some of this fire stuff. So what we can do is let's throw a few people more in here. And if we're having people help redo the forests, but we could probably afford to do another woodcutter lodge. It'll have to be out here, but that's probably not a big deal. And then we should probably get another charcoal kiln as well. Yeah, I think between the industry and all the, the training that we're doing, running it dry. Now, a lot of people are showing up here, but nobody's buying anything. Is it because we need somebody to work there? I swear I've seen people sell stuff without anybody in the trading thing. Okay, now we got to pay attention. Okay, so they sold all the tools. Interesting. That's everything. So this place is empty completely. Let's see what happens if we just leave it alone. This place is selling out. This place is selling out mostly. Same here. This place has still not been touched. Okay, so let's turn all these off. And let's see if they come back here. That sucks to eat into our profits, but I really want to see what happens. Sidearms are going down, though. That's huge. So we can finally keep up with that, it looks like. I'm not sure why it says log pieces in transit. It's completely clogging the generic storage. We need to try and get this going. I don't know what that means. We made more storage here, though. So hopefully that's enough. People are going to freeze to death. Is it going down finally? This one might actually just be bugged. Let's demolish it, and we'll just build a new one. There we go. They should be in okay shape now, I think. How are the plants looking? They're ready to go. Yeah, we just need to harvest, so that's perfect. Those are ready to go. That's ready. That's ready. Yeah, that's perfect. What are we doing here? Still maxed out. There's something going on with this one. Maybe it's broken or something. So these are completely empty. They're not buying anything. All right, let's stock it back up. Let's see what happens here with this deluge of traders. They're having a traffic jam. They're just like smashing into each other. There's so many traders, but they don't really know what to do. At right, harvest season, now we see all these people doing crazy stuff. They're going to swarm. Yep, harvest it. Look at it. <laughs> The mass migration. They're going to chew this thing up. And how are we looking down here? Yep, they already... Whoa, they already chewed that up. Wait, why is it only yielding seven? That entire field's yielding seven. This one is garbage. What the heck? Maybe this is the first year that we did it. We chose a bad one. Dude, look at the fertility was too low, maybe? I don't know. Well, the next one, barley will be good. Right, we're just going to put one person on each of these things. Uh, same thing, this place is getting bugged. 
How are we doing on trade? Every one of these is doing something at least. Except for this one. You know what I might do is wait until the rain stops and maybe I'll just deconstruct this. It looks like the rain stopped, so let's try and get all the supplies out. A lot of charcoal. Hopefully it doesn't go to waste. Yeah, it looks like they just abandoned this field. They didn't even finish. So this one's planted and seeded. These two need to be seeded. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, we're going to lose all this stuff. Getting raided again. But it's in the place where we actually have some reinforcements. So settle bits. Why did this field not get sown? Waiting. Is it past? It must be past planting season. Oh man, this is really bad. Maybe it's just too big. I can't handle that much. Yeah, I wasn't sown fully. Oh, this one too. Sell bits. People are leaving. Oh, because the body's... Yeah, managing eight towns, is, it's not that fun. <laughs> That's a lot to manage. I mean, we're not even doing anything with these, but still. The little things you gotta do. Yeah, this place was just starving a second ago now. They're mad because the bodies. Well, it doesn't look like we lost any of ours. So we only need the burial pit. Dude, what the hell, man? We're gonna lose the entire town. We've got people picking up the bodies right now, but they're still... Yep, there it goes. We got one family left. Nope, we don't. We don't have any families left, so we just lost this town. Because... Not because of the raiders, but because their bodies. We didn't pick them up fast enough. Holy crap, that's bad. Well, let's see if anybody eventually moves in. I don't know. It'd be interesting. We're gonna get more charcoal. Yeah, I was supposed to build a trading post. Let's get another one right here. Same thing with a tannery. We need another one. You know what I'm going to do also is make another farmhouse. And I know at some point we are going to start shrinking our egg and veggies, I guess. We might need to do a few more veggies. I'm pretty shocked how many people these veggies are feeding. Although that might be more related to them people eating other food, not the veggies. Yeah, like if they're eating bread, then they're not eating veggies. So that's probably part of the reason. All right, here we go. Spending a bunch of stuff. We got our kiln fully stocked. Two more tanneries. We'll burn through all this stuff and then we'll probably just back off on it. So I think what I might end up doing in the future is trying to section these things out a little bit better. Like we'll have a section not mixing stuff in basically is what I'm trying to say. So like I have a bunch of tanneries with its own warehouse maybe. Another area where it's just charcoal kilns, nothing else mixed in. Probably won't look very visually appealing but much more efficient. Get this farmhouse finished. There we go. So we got that. What are these people doing while they're waiting? Absolutely nothing. We got a lack of entertainment, which means we need another tavern. Everything's growing properly this time, at least. And maybe we'll have a better chance. Especially with the third farmhouse ready to go. Yeah. Doesn't seem like any of the trading posts are getting completely stuffed. Although this one is starting to get there. 13 and 137, so we might need to back these people out. Let this drain. Getting raided here at our main base. That's interesting. Yeah, so we could probably start converting more of these to a blacksmith, a brewery. We could keep somebody full-time on planks. Or we do have somebody full-time on planks. We have 664 planks, so we're good on that. We don't have to worry about that at all. So let's maybe go to blacksmith, and they'll each be making whatever weapon. I think spear and polearm. Uh, crap. We gotta get rid of the bodies before this whole town disappears because they're mad about dead, dead people. This guy can make spears, and still be even built. And this one can make whole arm. Nice, it already selected it for me. Let's get another trade route going. I'm kind of curious how much money these places have stashed up. We do have a trading post, but it's not really selling much. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to a town anymore. They just kind of flounder. Ah, uh, that's what's going on. It's completely full. Now, I just want to give you a quick warning. You may throw up based on how disgusting this looks, but I basically created a slum, a massive slum town, and that's how we got to 1,000 population. You can go much harder than this. I've, I saw a screenshot in the Discord. Somebody got up to like 2,800. Uh, that's not happening here because I have the whole, all eight provinces or regions populated, and there some of them are somewhat heavily populated, so I'm getting a massive amount of lag and uh, skipping around at about, I think it started around 800, and it, it's been several hours just sitting here waiting for this thing to go up. Because you get between one and two families per month, so just imagine doing that over a thousand, it's, it's pretty intense. 
So let's do a quick overview of kind of how this progressed. So this is the, the original main town that I made. And the original houses are the ones that got the Burgage plot level 3. I started making some things like a blacksmith, brewery. Blacksmiths were creating different things. So like one did sidearms, one did spears, one did pole arms. I've got an armor shop making helmets. I got a Fletcher shop making the bows. I've got three breweries. He's trying to make beer, but unfortunately my farm sucked and I was getting too much lag to really adjust it at that point anyways. But the main thing that I was hoping to do was make a ton of money with crafted goods. So I had four deep mines all with the infinite upgrades so they can basically mine infinitely. And then I had a massive bloomery making all the iron slabs we could possibly want. Although that's not true because we ended up running out and the iron ore is not keeping up with it. We got a ton of charcoal kilns. We've got our wood production area. It's pretty small. This tiny wood area produced all this wood to fire the, the town, all the industry, as well as selling a bunch of this stuff. So pretty overpowered actually the wood production. Now over here we have a small farm where I was doing flax and wheat, but it didn't really produce too much. And then again, farmhouse over here, I had to build a bunch of them just to get it to go. You have to micromanage it or you have to overstaff it. That's kind of why I don't usually like to build farms. Then I actually had trade buildings all throughout this area. And then I started to experiment with trade buildings up here because I was having issues with them not selling all the goods that I was trying to sell. So if you look at the inventory, we've got hundreds, really we've got thousands, but we've got, you know, four or 500 of each weapon in armor type. Ale, I couldn't really produce a lot, so I had to buy most of that. We've got 2,800 leather. I tried to sell a lot of that, but it just wasn't going. And I'll explain that in a second. Same thing with the charcoal, 2,000 charcoal. We ended up having to import a lot of our foods because I was starting to starve. Population was expanding and I did not spend any time upgrading the food production. So I just basically imported a lot of that. And as you can see, we've got plenty of money, 80,900 for the regional wealth. And our personal wealth is 225K. I actually turned off taxation for the most part. And I had not collected really any regional wealth. We haven't really sold anything in a very long time. So I think if I had either figured it out or the game wasn't bugged, I suspect it's a bug. I don't think this game is meant to be played at this scale because this is a lot of settlers. Well, not just settlers, but it's a lot of stuff on the map. We've got a full army. You can see our retinues all maxed out still from the, you know, before we left. So there's a lot of stuff for this thing to process. But anyways, I was trying to figure out how to get these trade posts to work. I had a trade post right here. I had two right here. I had three over here. One of them would get a bunch of sales and then everything behind it wouldn't get any sales. So then I started to try and move them around. I put one at the very edge of the map where all of them come from. So you can see right here, there, <laughs> there's a bit of a traffic jam. If you can't, will it let me back there? No, it won't. That's kind of funny though. But yeah, they would all come through here. So I figured, okay, what if I put all of my supplies up here? And you can see all the supplies that we're trying to sell. Leather, charcoal, all the weapons, tools. I've got a guide coming out that I'm going to talk about how to kind of go around this or how to avoid dealing with that in the first place. I had trade posts right here. And then all these were funneling one resource at a time. I would sell through and then I would pause the game, take that resource off. I was selling all the weapons. I went down to zero on each one, one by one, and then I paused it so that it wouldn't get flooded with a bunch of stuff. Paused everything, sold tools by themselves, did the same thing for leather and charcoal. And then eventually they just started doing this. They started doing this, but at the trade post. So like they kept getting stuck on each other and nobody was going through. <laughs> it's kind of funny. A little frustrating, but kind of funny. Gonna try and get to a million gold in the personal treasury. It's definitely doable. I don't think it's a good idea to do it all in one town. Or the other way is do it all in one town, but don't have anything else on the map. Or have all eight things colonized, but have a much smaller footprint. So maybe 150 to 200 people per town. And you can probably output maybe two grand a month to each. So two grand a month times eight, that's 16,000 a month you can add so you do the math it won't take that long to get i mean it'll take a while to get to a million but you could definitely do it and you might be able to go beyond that i don't know i'm just thinking conservatively that's probably about what it'll be so essentially this challenge is done my set out to max out the army that's the first thing we did we did that max out the whole map we've got colonies on each one some of them are pretty small yeah there's not much to them but they are self-sufficient and they have people in them they're surviving this was the main focus, and then obviously the first four towns I actually spent quite a bit of time 
So we developed all these decently. You can see on the layout. I won't go into them because they're not that interesting. But this was the big one, and I I was a little sad to see how much it slowed down. But I mean, like I said, the game's early access. It's not meant to be played at this scale, so. It's more sad that I built it up in my head more realistically. I knew it shouldn't be done this way, or I guess I could turn down all the settings. Actually, I should probably try that. But anyways, I'm kind of done with this challenge. We accomplished everything we set out to, to achieve. Like I said, the army maxed. We got to a thousand population in at least one town. The goal was to do a hundred thousand or a million if it was reasonable. We went well over a hundred K and even some of the towns broke a hundred K before I started taxing them down. Yeah, I would say this one's done. So I'm going to get working on some guides. I've got a lot to put together for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.